Hey, Debo. One second, just sending a text. Okay. Good morning. It's not that early, it's, uh, it's already 12.30. Right. Yeah, this is Ringed City. I only have two bosses left, I have Medir and Gale. No, this is not a challenge run, but after this I'm doing Cinder's mod. Did you do Lothric? I've, I've done everything except for Gale and Medir. Are you talking about just normal Lothric? Thanks for the gift sub, Schaefer. Thanks the Prime Yoda. There's an NPC summon boss, not worth. You're talking about Hawkwood. No one really seemed to think it was worth it to do the Hawkwood line. Thanks to the recent Chimbo and Jova. And the resub Will. And the Tier 1 Kirito. And the Prime Cloudy and the Resub Dingus. Did you fight the Nameless King? Yep, I've done every single boss so far. I'm missing Gale and Medir, who I'm doing now. Thanks to Resub Alexander. Thanks to the Tier 1 C Brizzly and the Resub Stickman again. And the resub Levi. You should do Madeir last for sure. We'll see. Thanks to give sub Snug Rug. Is this game worth buying? The game's fucking great, bro. Thanks to tier one comrade Chunky. My favorite game of the Souls franchise is probably Dark Souls 1. But I like Bloodborne the best out of all of From Software. Thanks for the gift sub Kirito and the five gift subs Vicky. Thank you, Vicky. Yep, we're doing Bloodborne once we finish Cinder's mod, which is after we finish these two bosses. 
Thanks to the Prime, Kotanks, and Resub Disardor. Never had a Shamrock Shake, I don't think. Thanks to the Resub Mr. Soup. And the Resub Willy. Yeah, Bloodborne's my favorite. I've beaten the fuck out of that game. But we're going through it again once we finish Dark Souls 3. Thanks to the five gift subs, Naughty Skittles. Thank you, Squid uh, Skittles and the Bit Squirrel God. <clears throat> Did you hear about Juji and Tom's explanation? I forgot to watch the video, but someone gave me the cliff notes. Tom took money to gamble. Right? Was that it? Thanks for you, Sub Polka Corn. Thanks to Tier 1 Sergeant D. And thanks, Jacob. Hope you have a great day. Madeir and Gale are the last two bosses I have in the playthrough. Thanks to Tier 1 Bandito and the Prime Kitsune and Resub Team. I think the five gift subs BRD. Thank you, BRD. What happened to the BDSM emote? Is that the one that got removed? Was that Sog S? Yeah, I gotta notice that one of the emotes got removed for being sexual, but I didn't think that was very sexual. I thought I couldn't fucking remember which one it was. Thanks to the resub King Cessory and Sapien Just and the five gift subs Hot Thought Meat. Appreciate it, meat. Thanks to the resub, Brinny and Prime Leo. And good morning, Bartholomew. Thanks to the tier one, Sauced Sean. And the gift sub, Pillow Puppy. Thank you to the five gift subs, Mighty Meat. Thank you, man. Thanks to the resub, Elysian. How long has Ludwig been streaming? I think he's going on 12 days, or it might be over 12 days now. I'm, I'm really not sure. Thanks to the bits, Venus. Yep, we won't be doing Twin Blades for Cinders. We'll do something else for Cinders. Oh no, he's well over 8 or 9. He's in double digits for sure. Thanks to the resub, be more specific. Thanks to the gift sub, Snug Rug and Prime Slooper. And the resub, 264 Uber and Bit Sapien. Thanks to the Bits AJ and the resub, Thimbo. How many hours do I have in Dark Souls 3? Uh, I'm not sure. It's a lot, though. For this playthrough, not very much, I think. Probably only like 14 or so, but in general, a lot. Thank you to the five gift subs, Bingen Jammin, and the resubs, Saber and Prime Fire Nest. Thank you, Ben. Thanks to the resub, Targoni. There, let's run it. Thanks to the resub, Small Ball Energy, and the Prime K. Do I like Dark Souls 3 or Dark Souls 1 Remaster more? Probably Dark Souls 3. Dark Souls 1 is still probably my favorite, but Dark Souls 3 is... It's just so fucking good. What the fuck? Thanks the Prime Symphior and Suppository and the gift sub Lethia. Thank you, Voidwalker. And happy birthday, Pillow Puppy. You shoot the shotgun from your last video? Yeah, but that's in part two. Where we blasted a bunch of dildos and shit with the weapons. They hear the big 10 gift subs super.
Really appreciate it, Super16. Thanks to the resub Flynn, Witless Dragon, and Prime Reese. And tier 1 Baby Cabin. And tier 1 Young Dart and resub Hemorrhoids. And thanks for the bits Hero and BRD. And the tier 1 Super 16 and tier 1 Richard. Thank you, Slooper. Yep, this is Ring City. We've got Madeir and Gale. Last two bosses I haven't beaten yet. And then it'll finally finish the 100% uh, all-boss playthrough. of Ace. What is the optimal way of fighting this fucking thing? I don't really get it. I give you another 10 gift sub Super 16. God damn. Thank you, man. Thanks to Tier 1 Wink Gaming and Resub Ace. Thanks to the five gift subs, BRD. What? Where's the other guy that's cursing me? Damn, Super 16, going wild, man. Thank you. Oh, there he is. Thanks to the Prime Banana. Thanks to Tier 1 Cat Shark. God. Yep, Bloodborne after. Once we finish this. It's not worth it. I fucking hate these things, man. One hand your weapon, then kick them. That's really the only way. Thanks to Prime Philip. And the gift sub cat dog or cat shark. Jesus. Yeah, we'll do another playthrough of Sekido once we finish Bloodborne. Here's another gift sub cat shark in the resub newbie and dews in the bits Abraham mini mass and oldie cheese in the resub full sender. Yep, I already killed the old demon king. I've done every boss except Madeir and Gale. Thanks to the bit slooper and the gift sub again cat shark. Really appreciate the generosity today, Super 16. Thank you, man. I can't tell if that's bait or if you're just a douchebag, James. It's almost hard to tell. 
But yeah, I'm usually just reading normal chat. Yep, I'll be playing the new Monster Hunter probably tomorrow. What armor are you using? Uh, onion head for Siegward, and then the uh, wolf. Oh, and Fallen Knight. This is five gift subs for Metsuhita. Hope you've been well. Hope you've had a good week. Next to some Steve. Thank you for five gifts of D-Bowl. Man, where the fuck is this bonfire? I'm glad to hear it's been a great week, man. Thank you for resub puggles. The resub sandwich and the gift sub again. Er, the gift sub sandwich. Why do you keep asking what I think of YouTube versus TikTok? I really don't like the content at all on TikTok. It's all just fucking goofy dances. Shit's not for me. I just post clips from streams and shit on there. You have a good day as well, Seb, and thanks for the resub, D&D kid. I'm just gonna assume this is the right way. I was wrong, this is most certainly not the right way. Oh, this is just right back to the fucking stairs, what a waste. doing Cinder's mod? Yep, that'll be after this. Once I finish Gale and Medir, which are the last two bosses, I will be doing Cinder's mod. Thanks, Risa Thompson. Where is it? It's at the bottom of the stairs? I haven't fought Gale yet, I have to do Gale and Medir. Those are the last two. Thanks to Tier 1 Bokito Burrito and the Tier 1 Mickey D. Mickey. McDill. McDill. Where's some Jumbo Shrimp? Here it is. You fought twin princes. You're talking about the Lothric brothers? Yeah. Got that on the first try. I also first tried the demon princes of this DLC. I've been on a roll right now. Oh shit. Thanks to Prime GG. No! And so, despite his 
weighty armor. He lived in fear where fire resided. Shadows twist and shrivel, but in the abyss. Fear not the dark, my friend, and let the feast begin. Nice. Thanks for the reset, Rip Rick. Man, oh, again, okay, I gotta take a shit. This is like the third stream in a row. The second I hit start stream, I just have to take a shit. I'll be right back, sorry. Maybe two seconds. Fucking back, baby! Oh, exit tier one, James Farut. The Prime C S L. Woo! Thanks to the resub Lee Ham and Eggs and Squeaker. That's how we fucking do it, baby. Thanks to Prime Sneaky and Resub Computer. There's an NPC summon from a deer that's complete. Well, I haven't used any summons and I don't plan on starting. Thanks for the resub, Rebel Dis.
Hey, happy birthday, Drewski. Hope you have a great birthday, man. Oh, yeah, I did do Sigurd and Yuria for the ending. You're right. Fuck, am I supposed to go? Thanks for five gifts with Avery. Thanks to the resub, Sean. Why do I always run from the mobs? Because there's no point in killing them. Oh, shit. Which is more difficult, Dark Souls or Bloodborne? Bloodborne. I think Bloodborne's much harder. It's also my favorite. Who's the third boss? Why do I keep seeing I have three bosses left? Madir, Gale, and who? Flight? What the fuck? I don't know who that is. What is that? Like an, a summon or some shit? Needs to be some bloopy. That's fucking rough. You have to fight Half Light to reach Gale. Uh, <coughs> gotcha. Thanks to resub Iza. Sorry to hear that, Chewy. Wishing you a speedy recovery, man. Nope, I've never played Ring City DLC. This is my first time going through it. It's still super good, though, Sauce. Three sub Calistrax. Next, the gift sub Michael Quiferton. Oh, he does this every time. Oh, oh never mind. Uh, went right through it, baby. I didn't know you could dodge that. I'm too fucking good, baby! I'm in it! Oh. Thanks, resub QKP. Yeah, I know that dragon is my dear. I've heard. Damn. 
I started Lap's quest line. I plan on doing it. Have I missed anything for Lap? I've, I've did both of his things in the beginning. What did I miss? And can I not go back for it? Let's use of Bandito. Tier 1 Jason Pear. Oh, Jason Pearson. Is the tier one pro jackass? Yeah, I heard there's a big new Risk of Rain update. I might play it. Not today, but in general. Here we are. Yeah, it's fucking rough sauce. Thanks to the tier 1 Ock 17 NT. A hundred percent sure that's not how your name is pronounced, but I'm sorry. I'm guessing I can't discharge that. Didn't think I'd die from that. Ugh. Okay. Which one? This one? Rip 40k souls? It's not like I need the souls for anything. Yeah, is it DLC? It said use the young white birch on something. I have so many. Well, that didn't work. Thanks the reset, Booch Boy. Use it in the swamp. Oh god, okay, what? Yeah, I beat Nameless King. Go into swamp, use br- what do you mean? Okay, we're getting a lot of mixed shit. This is for lap? So just use it in the swamp. Where are my branches? 
All right. You have to turn into the humanity goat. Oh my god, I'm getting so many different things. Makes a tier one looper and the tier one some kid on Twitch and resub freest. Don't sprint or you'll lose it and you'll need another branch. Okay. Not that one. What are you talking- okay. What? Alright. People were saying yes on that. So this. Exit the gift sub. Lost Legionnaire and Resub Ethereal. Deeper into the swamp. Okay. Oh, come on. What the fuck? Exit the bits reverse fall on the prime, Blake. You gotta turn into a humanity like the ones you find next to Manus in Dark Souls 1. Yeah, but how? You have to use white branch in the swamp and random luck to get the humanity ghost. Okay. So, run it again. Next to reset Pranman. And Replica. That's the one. Okay. Let's do it again. Easy to get subs dorm in the bit stylor. Do I prefer Dark Souls or Skyrim? Dark Souls. Not even close. Can I safely just climb now? Or is there more I need to do from this? Next to be some chicken nuggies. Yeah, good. Where does this take me? I said 10 gift subs, Rebel this. Thank you, Rebel. Next to tier one, shoot. Let's shoot him up. Shoot him, shoot him up. Okay. 
Oh shit. What the fuck? Holy shit, where'd the other guy come from? Thanks to give some tank. God damn. That guy fucking blasted me. Lap will be at the inner wall since you didn't didn't get the tight night slab at the other bonfires. Eh. I'd rather just do the bosses to be honest. I'm going for a hundred percent? Nope, just doing all the bosses, not necessarily a hundred percent for all items and shit. Gimbert. Oh, I didn't realize he respawned. I thought this was one of those guys that stays dead. Not like this. Christ. Oh, I have no plans on cutting it anytime soon. What is hitting me? subvert okay This guy's fucking me up, man. Thanks for some ball sack, Brady. Did we get some quatch? What? What the fuck was the point in opening this? There's apps. What? Am I missing something? There's fucking nothing up here. It just takes me back to the stairs. It's for laps quest line. Thanks for some sauce. Ladder down the stairs. What are you talking about? This is literally just right back to this area. But like, what? What's the point? This is just right back to where I was earlier. Needs to get some doctor guns. This? Thanks for the gift sub Gonzo. It's not, but okay. 
I mean, there's literally nothing useful here. What the fuck is the point of this? Point of this? For the NPC's quest line, which I can't- I've already missed. have to go talk to Lap about it. <sighs> I'd rather just fight the bosses. Make the resub me night. Lap quest line is worthless. Joke. Just go back to progressing. What's the point in doing the lap quest line? Is there a good reward or anything? Or is it interesting? I mean, lap seems cool, but I also really don't feel like doing this whole quest line. He is the best armor in the game. Okay, well, we'll do it, since everyone's complaining about it. Where's Lap? Where's he at? Ringed Inner Wall Bonfire. I already talked to him at the dreg heap and then the second bonfire. Thanks for the rice, man. Okay, so ringed inner wall out on the balcony. This balcony? Not there yet. Christ. He's on Earthen Peak! Oh, we're getting a lot of good information here. Yes, of course, of course. I've already talked to him at Earthen Peak, but we'll go back. Exit Prime Blitz. You. Not much to speak of, but uh, bottoms up to the greatest warrior there Exit is. Exit Tier 1 Gear Biking. This really is a dreg heap at the world's end. Mangled remnants from There's every age and every land. It actually sort of lends credence to the old rumors that the ring city rests be... This really is a dreg... Mag... It okay... Now I'm assuming he'll be on the balcony. That was the third time I talked to him. Not the balcony near the bonfire, as he is exactly at the balcony near the bonfire. Oh. Well, thank a true blessing. That we should seek the same place and find us. Man, so many people immediately together. wrong. I've got the last of my brew. Let's have our own little toast with it. To my search and to your duty. And to the joy that lies before us. Alright then. Bottoms up. 
<laughs> now, I'm off in search of the purging monument. Once I find it, who I was, what I lived for, and what terrible grudges I held. I don't know. I just have this feeling that that's the kind of man I was. Oh, don't hold it against me. I only think I was. <laughs> now. All right, now to the purging stone. Am I gonna do a moist meter on the movie Nobody? That sounds familiar. What the fuck is that? Thanks to resub Joe. And the prime beated. It's a new Bob Od Oh, it's the Bob Odenkirk movie. That's right. I remember that. Yeah, I'll moist meter it when it comes out. Thanks to resub like and throw up. Let me give sub lucky. Sorry, work's not going well, man. Hope it gets better. Well, he's not here. Is there some remnant? He's in the place where you get the golden serpent ring. I forgot where that was. Right next to you? Over here. Okay, we'll see. I don't... Oh my god, I missed. Well... I don't... Didn't I get the golden serpent ring plus three in the, the catacombs area? That was the silver. That was the evil ring. Okay. Well, by the catacombs, I just meant like the staircase with the skeletons. I'm I thought for sure that's where I got the Golden Serpent Ring plus three. But, I guess I'm just wrong. He's in the domed room with the chair. What? The domed room with the chair? He doesn't tell me shit. What the fuck is the domed room with the chair? Well, this doesn't look right. Thanks to Reese Rectum. He's inside here. Talking about his inside here. I really thought 
that was going to miss. circles I'm afraid I can't find the purging monument what if it was never here in the first place oh, bloody hell what do Ooh. I know are you certain of that no S sorry uh, uh, thank you thank you kindly it won't be long now before I know everything who I was what I lived for and I'll have you to thank for it all ah I swear upon my birth myth that I am your friend no, if you would do me the honor, allow me to. It won't be long now. Who? What a what a nice guy. He's a tier one reps TV. Now the stairs before Madeir. As in this bonfire or the way to Madeir. I'm assuming here. <clears throat> oh, it is the spiral of the room. Oh god, okay. So, just backtrack. You son of a bitch! Oh, what the fuck. Shared grave all the way down. What do you mean, why suddenly playing Dark Souls? It's not suddenly. I'm playing Dark Souls for like a month now. Did Dark Souls 1, then Dark Souls 2, now Dark Souls 3. Yep, once we do Cinder's mod, I'm doing Bloodborne again. Where the fuck do I drop down? I already did the other DLC. This is the last couple bosses I need before I finish all bosses of Dark Souls 3. What am I missing? No, oh, this way. Nope, what the fuck? I don't remember where to go here. How do I get down to that? Where's the fucking... Oh, here we go. This is where it was. Real goofy face. Classic patches. Hmm. Hey, thank you, Kara. Maybe it's just the way we are. I'll stick you in my prayers. A fine dark soul to you.
I could have talked to him before he kicked me. No, that's fine. Oh, I wasn't looking. Wait, why was I so? Oh, wow. I didn't realize I was so low on health. Thanks for you, some panders. Whatever, speedrun strat. Where's the Prime Nova? Is that the end of his quest line? Can I just do Medir now? Grab his armor? Grab his armor? How do I get his armor? He's not dead, is he? What, did he fucking fall off and die or something? From where he pushed you. Thanks for resub Cal the God. Maybe I'll throw these on if they're light. Oh, they are not light. Whew. These are fine though. Nah, not worth. Just the helmet then? Nope, I like the onion. Sigurd much, much cooler than patches. Thanks for some Zach. JR say wow. Young Hunter in the Prime Kitten. That was a waste of time. Yeah, I would have rather just done the boss. That wasn't a super cool quest line. Good fan service though. Oh. This isn't the boss fight, right? This is just like the precursor to the boss. I can't imagine this is the actual boss fight with all the fucking hype. God damn it, right off the ledge. It's stuck on his fucking hitbox. Thanks, the reset blubker. Yeah, I figured. There's no way this would actually be the boss fight. This is some lame shit. 
This is to get the boss into the area or something, I'm sure. I think of Bloodborne, it's my favorite Souls game from software. Now you can't do the boss? What the fuck are you talking about? Of a bitch. You son of a bitch. <sighs> Finally. Oh. Hidden wall to Madeir. Where? I'll do the shortcut here. Next to the staircase. Like inside? Jumping off the ele- what the fuck is the hidden wall shit about then? Don't do Madeir now, fight Half-Life first. What? Here's the Prime Sloop. How the fuck do I get this? Doesn't make a difference. Okay. Okay. I think I see. Big. <sighs> Hidden wall on the statue? What the fuck are you talking about? Yeah. Left for boss, right for Madeir. 
Thanks for your sub fap and farts. From here? Or from down there? He literally skipped the one. What are you fucking talking about? All of these have a sword. The one I hit didn't. I don't know why people keep screaming go back that I missed one. Christ. Guessing this is it. Let's run it. So is this Madeir or Half Light? It's Madeir. Damn, do I have to make this long journey back each time if I die to Madeir? lunch. Oh. Body takes reduced damage. Yeah, I've noticed. Wait, what? Oh. Wait, why am I here? Oh, this is the shortcut. God, this is gonna be so fucking tedious if I have to keep making this- Oh, I went the wrong way. Ugh. Let's get it. Yeah. Shit, charge. I just saw it. Fuck. Hail. That's the holy shit. How far does that stretch?
the fuck kind of setup is this? What are you talking about? What kind of setup is this? Literally the most optimal setup? What are you talking about? I don't know about that, Zed. Oops. Harder than Nameless King so far? It's only been two deaths. But yeah, it seems like it'll be more difficult than Nameless. What the fuck? I keep going the wrong way. Well, I'm not gonna bother wasting resin right now when I barely know his attacks. Nope! God, that really stretches far, man. That's rough. I understand his head is the weak spot, but I'd rather just get some guaranteed damage from a safe spot for now. Oh shit, it's fire. Fuck. Not doing too hot. Oh my god, too early. That tail is fucking me up right now. Oh. Thanks, 
three sub room temp kiwi. It makes it a bit dur. Oh, and five. What? That was my third attempt. How do I keep? Oh my god, I keep going to the wrong fucking side every time. The music is amazing. Yeah. Shit, he's just fire again. I thought he was gonna do tail. Shit! Oh god. That. That's the first time I've seen that. It's okay. What the fuck is- Oh, I didn't know he had projectiles. Son of a bitch. I actually probably could have had it on that one. I didn't even notice that. Yeah, it wasn't a bad run. Thanks to the resub, Hammery. You're gonna ember up? Um... 
Yeah, I'll Ember for this one. I won't summon, but I will Ember. Oh shit, this boy. Oh uh, fuck. Alright, this is a sad fucking run right now. I just need to fucking S this. stamina. I think the tier one just kidding on the beat. Oh, I got greedy.
Five tries. Bang. Not bad, not bad. Overhyped. Thanks to the resub Palumbo and Kui and Skull King. Fuck yeah. True road talk. Fuck yeah. All right. Yeah, I, got, I think that was good RNG on phase two. He never used that projectile again. I only had to fight that projectile once. Demon twins took me more tries than Madeir. I got demon tri uh, demon princes on my first try. Fuck yeah. Thanks for the 10 gift subs, HL2 Master, and the 5 gift subs, Stylo and Prime Crazy Cell. Thank you. Appreciate the generosity. Thanks to the Prime Epig. Ep and the five gift subs, Google Translate. Good to see you, Translate. Hope you've been well. You do not have the right to stay overhyped. You're using twin blades. What a sad little man you are. No, no, no. You're using a good weapon, which means you can't be happy. You didn't actually kill him. You cheated. You have to use your bare fist like me. And by that, I mean I watched somebody do it. I've never actually beaten him. These are the five gift subs, Ripped Rick. And the resub, Milky Hamburger and Prime Vicente. And the resub, Parallax. I went to the wrong fucking bonfire. Eh, it doesn't matter. These are the gift sub, Jordog. Still don't understand how Frida gave you the most trouble? Well, for DLC. The most trouble so far has been Nameless King. Frida was, I think, 9 tries. Nameless King was like 16. Nameless King was still the hardest so far. There's three sub Shaq's Dong. Thanks to Prime Joe Rogan. Is this the next boss here? No! How? How did I get this glitch mid mid game? Oh shit! This is the third time this has happened. is pretty easy online. No, I'm not playing online. There's the Prime Prostate. I'm not doing summons or any, anything like that. Mm. This boss is meant for online, eh, but I don't really want to. Last time I went online, hacker came, crashed the game, nearly corrupted the save. Makes it two gift subs, Palumbo. This boss fucking sucks, it's not worth- Do I have to play this boss online? Because I can't open the door. Oh. I guess I- Never mind, I must have missed the prompt. I 
It's better online. Eh, I'm not risking another hacking thing. Makes the reset harmless. What the fuck? How did this happen again? Ugh. Come on, I need to restart. Wait, is this the whole boss? Is that a bug? Yeah, for some reason... Well, for some reason, that pops up sometimes. It's usually only when I first start the game, though. But I've been playing for almost two hours now, and it, for some reason, came up. Looks like it's only on normal enemies, though, not the bosses. You might have a mod installed. Nope, I haven't downloaded Cinder's mod yet. It's just a glitch that happens for some reason. Okay, let me reset it. That looks like a hack. What kind of fucking hack just brings up a fucking mesh of Chinese characters? What do you mean? That'd be the world's most useless hack. I can't even read it. Validate your game on Steam. I don't think that's going to change anything. It's just a glitch. Thanks to give some hypno and dorm. It's a glitch with Dark Souls 3 on PC. It's really common. Oh! You know what it is? I actually... When we were still doing YouTube streams, I installed the JoJo's Bizarre Adventure mod. That's what it is. Oh, so that makes sense. Okay, I totally fucking forgot we did that. Oh, that's fucking right. I... Yeah, I never uninstalled that. Mods make that shit pop up all the time. Yeah, 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 yeah. I completely fucking forgot about that. That mod didn't even work. That was just such a fucking waste. JoJo's is like a Pokemon mod where when you get a weapon and you swing it, you summon an enemy. It was a really cool idea, but it didn't work super well, so I only streamed it for like an hour. Isn't this a new download, though? It's still on the same computer where I downloaded that mod. Uh, is that another mod Rotok?
No, the, the mod's not active. You would know if the JoJo's mod was on. Every time I'd swing a weapon, an enemy would be summoned. So the JoJo's mod is not on, but the fact I have it installed must be popping up that shit. Thanks for the resub, Sea Demon. Ring City is such a fucking pretty DLC. This shit lived up to the hype. fucking broke it we ruined it she's gonna hate us now you playing more soul stuff after three yeah i'm doing cinders mod after this playthrough so once i beat gale and then after cinders mod we're doing bloodborne plus dlc after bloodborne and dlc we do sekido again <clears throat> and then after that i might actually learn some speed run routes I, from everything I've heard about Cinders, Cinders is like a completely different fucking game for Dark Souls 3. Like, it totally changes shit. So I'm pretty excited to try it. Yeah, I killed Madeir. Took me five tries. He's the Prime Jacob and resub Longarm Dave. Yeah, I'm excited, Thaizun. I think it'll be fun. Is that Zittler? It is Zittler. Good eye. Thanks to Prime Jacobs and resub Ravix and Prime Turumi. This is fucking cool, man. Oh, Help me, please. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Soul. Is that- that's not Gale, is it? No, I didn't think so. Who is that? That's just some pygmy? Like one of the original pygmies that took the Dark Soul? I only know, like, very basic lore of Dark Souls. It's one of the Pygmy Kings, okay. I know a lot of Dark Souls lore is a lot of guesswork, unfortunately, to fill in blanks, which is... I mean, I think that's kind of cool, but I think it's a little too ambiguous. <laughs> I 
Thanks, Daniel. Still here. Hand it over, that thing, your dark soul. Thanks, you said Punky Lord and Prime Mushy. For my lady's painting. Oh, gotcha, Rotok. So what is Gale's lore? I'm accidentally buffering so many rolls right now. Holy lord. Gale searched the world for the Dark Soul, so the painter from Ashes of Arendriel. Arendriel, what? Okay, I got you, sex man. You guys got some wacky moves, uh oh. Great timing. Sub Logan. Uh, is this the blood? This does seem very bloodborne. Thanks to Prime Claudia. Sub game splaining. No, no point in risking it. His health pool is not. Oh, what the fuck? Christ! This man's got a fucking machine gun. Oh god, I'm going too early! 
Okay, so he's got a machine gun and Doctor Strange's cape. Christ. You struggled way more with Gale than you did Madeir. Right now, I'll say Gale seems a lot harder than Madeir. Madeir was five tries, this is looking like it's gonna be more. This guy seems kinda nutty. And his health pool is pretty fucking fat, too. Oh shit. I'm assuming I can't backstab him, right? Pretty good phase one. Oh shit. A little greedy. Shit, I'm dodging the wrong way. Oh, those things come back. shouldn't have dodged backwards. What is happening? Oh! I see. I see tier one Trent. Damn, I probably could have had that there. I was playing it real slow, real patient. I had a perfect phase one. Oof. Choked. Hit the back wall. Oh shit. Bad phase one. Not happy with that. Alright. Let's not play it like a pussy. Let's actually read his attacks correctly. Okay. Good start. Alright, good read on the first couple of attacks, for sure. Oh, 
Oh, I'm out of stamina. Oh shit, 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 AoE. Lightning is rough, hold on. Oh my god, I got so greedy, I thought that'd finish him. Gotcha! Three tries! Bang! Or four. Three or four. I thought that was gonna take a little longer. Blasted. Exit Prime Momusin and the Resub Cat and Forerunner and Bug. And Immortal and the Prime Blaze. Fuck yeah, baby. Exit the bits Snake, Fluster, Dead Ghost, and the Anonymous bits. Not bad. Alright, that means it's time for Cinder's mod. Thank you the five gift subs, Google Translate, and the... Oh! Thank you the tier one. Corbett? How many was that? What the fuck? Thank you the 25 gift subs, Nexus. Christ, thank you for the huge drop, man. Really appreciate the generosity. Yeah, I'm going to the Painter Girl. Uh, Painter Girl. And yes, we're doing Cinder's mod now. Yep, I already killed Medir. I killed every boss in the game. 100%. The painter and the drawing. What? Not this person here? So go back to Arendriel. Arendelle. Arendelle. He's a prime optimum. The resub left hook god. What do you think was the hardest boss? The hardest boss actually for me was Nameless King. Nameless King I thought was a lot harder than Medir and Gale. He's the prime Nico. Give blood of the dark soul, yes. Who's the coolest in the game? Honestly, probably Gale. Gale was really fucking cool. My thanks, Ashen One. With this, will I paint a world? Please tell me thy name. Officer I'll Greg. Name this painting after thee. It's Officer Greg, baby. My thanks. I will paint a world of that name. It will be a cold, dark, and very gentle place. And one day, it will make someone a goodly home. I wonder when Uncle Gale intends his return. I got bad news about I that. The new painting will be to him a gentle home. 
My thanks. Oh right, this is Zittler, right. This is not Officer Greg. Finish the painting of a cold, dark one. Okay. Cinders 2.0 dropped yesterday? Well, it sounds like the timing is perfect then. Alright, Cinders mod time. Let's fucking get it. This was great. That was a really good, uh, really good run. 100%ed the bosses. <sighs> that was fun. That was good. Okay. Let me download Cinders 2.0. Thanks to the tier 1 sad for. Overall thoughts on DLC? The Arendelle one? Pretty underwhelming. Frida I thought was great. But the actual DLC itself kind of weak. Ring City was fantastic though. Where do you see that 2.0 came out? Oh, last updated March 24th. <laughs> wow, what timing. Man, what fucking timing. Thanks to the resub Lagartios. And thank you, Prime Meta. Go Mage. We'll decide in a minute. We're not doing Twin Blades again, so we won't... I mean, we can do another Dex build if there's a cool weapon you want, you want me to use, but otherwise we'll think of a different one. You'll need to create a vanilla save game before installing Cinders. Without doing this, you'll get the save data is corrupted message. Okay. You're good? Okay. Have I done a faith miracle run? I have not, I don't think. You need to play deprived like a real man? Yeah, maybe. Doesn't Cinders make every weapon random, so aren't builds kind of random? Oh, I have no idea. Thanks to Resub Lump Cakes, I'm downloading it right now. Five point three gigabytes. Holy shit! Damn, I haven't gone on Nexus mods in so long. Okay, let's just make a new account. I don't remember my info. Uninstalled JoJo mod. Oh yeah, let me ch check. Where is that going to be? Would that be in my Dark Souls 3 directory? Thanks to the Prime. Vizzy. Uh, I don't have that. There's no mods folder. I, uh, I'm gonna I can show this, right? So if I go to Steam Apps Common Dark Souls 3, I don't have, like, a mods area. So where, where does it go? It just make one. Okay. I don't know where the JoJo's mod went then. It's not in here.
but Easy Prime coffee. Why is it Nexus mods working for me? When am I going back to Osu? Uh, I'm trying to do a big tournament with Osu, so soon ish. Check app data to find the mod. There is no app data unless it's a hidden folder somewhere. But I have show hidden items and I don't see it. Okay. This is resub cat dog and ocean breeze. Oh, here we go. Oh, never mind. working thanks Risa Max Merwin happy birthday fap and farts hope you have a great birthday there we go we're in Nope, never mind. What the fuck do you mean? I just changed my password. What? Thanks to Prime Edzo. There is sub nothing. Oh, I see what's going on. Love Neo too, but I don't know if I'm gonna go back to uh, replay it all. Maybe. Thanks for the bits, Buck, and the resub no crevo. I'm gonna take a piss real quick. Uh, for some reason, this is taking a really long time to log in, so I'll be right back.
Okay, Nexus Mods is not working. What the fuck is wrong with this site, bro? The server just went down. Man, what the fuck do you mean the server just- What? Son of a bitch. Thanks for the reset, laggy average. Ugh. Um. Well, okay, here. Let me switch categories since it's looking like it's going to be a little while before we get back to Dark Souls 3. Let's do... Let's start downloading Bloodborne on the PS5 because I don't have it downloaded yet. So we can do that while we wait. Thanks to tier one fucking gamer time. And thanks to the resub Decimox. Thirty FPS. The fuck do you want me to do about it? The game's never been in sixty FPS. I didn't make the goddamn game. There we go. Is that a Yu-Gi-Oh card map? It is. Thanks to the tier one Grimling Ronto. There we go. Okay. Now, Bloodborne the Complete Edition. I'm assuming this comes with everything I need. How many DLCs came out for Bloodborne? Just one? That's fucking crazy, man. I can't believe they only put out one DLC for this. Thanks to the Prime Apex. Nexus is back online? Okay. Are you serious? Bloodborne is 30 FPS? I mean, from everything I've heard, yeah. I mean, the game was 30 FPS. Listen, you do realize that up until recently, pretty much every game you played was 30 FPS. So yes, the game is a few years old. It is 30 FPS. Thanks to the tier one momentary piss and resub Razor and Dan Gonzo. I'm still getting an error for Nexus mods. I don't think it's back up. Never mind, we're in. Oh, fucking finally. Thanks to the Prime Uko and the Gift Sub Hot Thought Meat. Alright, let's get it! Downloading! Oh, what the fuck is this? Free accounts can only download at 2 megabytes? This is a 5 gigabyte game! Oh, fuck. That is scummy. That is actually really scummy. They throttle your download unless you buy premium? I don't like that at all. Holy shit. Thanks to two gift subs, Poop and Zachman. That's actually one of the scummiest ways to get people to buy their service. That makes me want to never buy their service. I will wait days for a download if it means I don't have to support that kind of awful business practice. Holy shit. Actually nuts. 
Yeah, the mod is five gigs. Looks at the bits price. No, 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 the mod for... So we're doing Cinder's mod for Dark Souls 3 since we just finished the playthrough. The mod is 5 gigs. It's the only way they make money. There's plenty of other ways they can make money. You could sell some kind of better service that isn't predatory. Capping download speeds like that. Surely there's another way. He's a tier one bear stain. Also, that's definitely not the only way they make money. I see four ads on this page. There's a RuneScape ad, an AutoNation ad, a Final Fantasy XIV ad, and then a banner ad for Best Buy. This is absolutely not the only way Nexus Mods makes money. That's sweet. Well, thanks, Patrick. I don't know what the fuck Air Mac is, but I mean, I've got time. I'm downloading Bloodborne in this mod. So let's see what Air Mac is. It's a pretty old game. Is it RTS? How much do you have to pay? I didn't even look. It doesn't matter. Even if it's like two dollars, that's still just a fucked up way of driving people to buy that. I don't like that. Thanks to give sub dragon. The director of John Wick is working with Sony and making a Ghost of Tsushima film. Is that confirmed? Because that sounds pretty fucking cool. Thanks for your sub, Koi. Wow. Alright, well that sounds cool. Hey, you know what we can do while we're waiting? Here, we can, we can, we can stay in the Dark Souls spirit. I'm curious on the Dark Souls 3 lore. We can listen to a lore summary. By the time that's done, maybe the fucking downloads will be done. Yeah, we can watch uh, Vadi. He's the first one that came up. Lore of the main bosses. But we should start at the beginning. After you finish the song. Thanks to the gifts of Baby Mammoth. Yeah, I know, Hunter. I mean, it wasn't just Vice, though. There was, like I said, there was so many news outlets picking up that story. Thanks to the Reset Crispy. Still haven't finished Like a Dragon, no. Thanks to the Tier 1 Controversy. I'm not sure. Maybe Thaizun, but definitely not today. Thanks to the Reset Dragon Havoc. Dark Souls has a crazy universe, like an actually fucking nutty universe. People that are familiar with Vadi's work, where do I start for just like the full fucking timeline of Dark Souls? Is it Dark Souls lore, Arrow, Explained from Vidi, or Vadi? Thanks for the gift sub one. Prepare to cry. Prepare to cry remastered the legend of Artorius the Abyss Walker. Okay, yeah, sure. In Gwyn's Age of Fire, there were four knights who distinguished themselves above all others. First, there was Hawkeye Goth, Thanks, who fought in the first war against the dragons. He exulted in the thrill of the hunt, plucking dragons out of the sky with his enormous great bow. This is so cute. What a labor of love. 
were in his memories, which he revisited endlessly. This is Dark Souls 1? Yeah, I wanted to start at the beginning. ...was Ornstein, the dragon slayer. He wielded a long lightning cross spear that could be stamped deep into a stone dragon's heart. Thanks to the resub, Agent John. His curious design went on to remind many of an exiled god of war, though none of them dared to speak his name. And then there was Kidan, whose talents differed considerably from the previous two. A stealthy assassin, she would have been no match for dragons, and so she must have killed for Gwyn in the Age of Fire to follow. This is so fucking she cute. She dazzled her foes with streaks of gold in the night, and then stung with the vicious poison of her silver tracer. But in the Age of Man to come, none were as well equipped as the great knight Artorius. For nothing, not dragons, nor disunity, nor even his enemies, frightened Gwyn like the dark. The dark soul of man filled hey, the Hey, we transformed into that a minute ago. For one ago. day, Gwyn knew, the fire would fade, and humanity would inherit the world. His world. So while he still had time and power, Gwyn began to... You think so, Cryo? That's fate. what I was thinking. Mankind had stood amongst those who set out to slay the ancient dragons, and... As if in thanks, okay, let's, Gwyn bestowed. Yeah, I, let's go with the original idea. I want to start at the beginning, because like I said, I don't really know the full lore. I only know, like, the main bits. So let's start at Dark Souls lore explained. Is this from, like, Ground Zero here? Is this where it begins? What about Demon Souls? I don't think that directly ties in. I mean, maybe it does, I'm not sure. After you finish the Souls game, you have questions. Why am I on fire? What's the point of locking myself in this cave? Which ending is the right one? And of course, we got married. Question. Yeah. Call Fuck yeah. Big Hat Logan. First, let's start with the player character. Who is the chosen undead? Well, they are who you make them. Whether Officer you're Greg. A thief or a knight, from Astora or Katarina, it doesn't matter. What's important is that you ended up in a cell at the right place and the right time. For you head to Lordran. In accordance with an old legend that speaks of a... No, this is Dark Souls 1. We did Officer Greg hero. for Dark Souls 1. This legend is, by the way, most likely a deception by the gods, probably designed to lure powerful heroes to Lordran, but we'll get to that later. Thanks for your world Mimi outside Lordran? Lordran is just the land of the gods, and there is a wider world of man with many more countries therein. The fate of the world largely revolves around Lordran, though, so we never go to these other places. But the characters we do meet in Lordran often hail from these foreign countries, and you can tell that they hey, are to be accurate My man. characterizations of their homelands. What you're seeing on screen are the results of an art competition to depict these foreign places. So check out that video if you're interested, and subscribe to Turn see the Turn the video next up, it's loud as fuck really for me, what do you mean? How did this world come Here, to be? There. Originally, the world had no disparity. Everything was just... That was not Sigward, that was Sigmire. To the trees to the dragons. It was homogenous, semantics. static, without beginning or end. Then, similar to the Big Bang, fire suddenly came to exist. And it disrupted tier one this Stuart? eternal monotony. Now, there wasn't just existence, but there were states of existence. Heat and cold, light and dark, life and death. The result was a rock universe gradually changing into the world as you see it in-game, including its overabundance of souls. What is a soul? So when fire came to be and permeated the universe, it's so did souls. Man. Thus, the soul is the power the of disparity itself. They are the derby. means by which the first flame changed the universe, and paradoxically, they are both the fuel and the byproduct of that fire. Similar to in Demon Souls, a soul gives you clarity, allowing you to think, but also life, allowing you to be. Yes. And just as there are all kinds of life, there are all kinds of souls of various shapes, sizes, and magical affinities. Is Many bosses one are these special beings with special souls, and the most powerful beings are the lords. Sorry to pause it, is that true? Vadi is working on Elden Ring as well as making a cameo in it? Is that a- like, that's real? What? Like he's actually working on the game? Like what do you- there's no fucking way. You're telling me they recruited a YouTuber? To help write the game? I'm seeing nothing on this. Also the chat is absolutely erupting with no's. I, I mean, I think it'd be great if he did, but I just find that so hard to believe. 
Yeah, I see nothing about that. But who knows, maybe you're right. I think they'd be a great person to ask. Who are the lords, and what Bring is them on board. the lord's soul? The four lords are the first kings. Thanks they the were prime all attracted wag. to the first flame, having only ever known darkness before coming upon it. Each one discovered this massive concentration of Disparity's power near the flame, which they then used to establish a kingdom under their rule. Thus, these massive souls are called Lord Souls. Of these four souls, Karth tells us that the Pygmy found the Dark Soul, and it follows that the other Lord Souls all aligned with the other aspects of Disparity. So, in contrast, Gwyn found the Light Soul, Nito found the Death Soul, and the Witch of Isolith found the Life Soul. These souls came to defy. So, how did these them, four lords come to be? Ally together to challenge the everlasting dragons. What is an everlasting dragon? So, they're a part of the original race of dragons that predate life itself. Much like there are wyverns and worms, there are also ancient they just dragons were. or arch dragons, as later they just were. Coined. They found the flame. Okay. Their race is the progenitor to all other dragon subspecies. And these are subspecies that adapted really well to a new world and new environments. You still face some arch dragons in game, but these arch dragons never are the original generation of arch dragons that actually predate fire. The ancient dragons are commonly described as everlasting, thanks to their stone scales of undeath granting them immortality. However, when Gwyn learned that his bolts of lightning could peel apart those scales, the lords used their full might to hunt down the arch dragons to nigh extinction, ushering in the Age of Fire. What is the Age of Fire? It's the era you find yourself in. It oh, that makes sense. The when the lords defeated the arch dragons, and even as far back I as their finding actually, their talk. lord's souls could be denoted as the dawn or beginning of the Age of Fire. So what follows is this period dominated by the lords. Much of this epoch is also denoted as the Age of Gods, since the three lords residing in Lordran with their fellow deities are on the rise or at their zenith during it. However, this golden age can only continue so long as fire at the source of the gods' power remains strong. But eventually, fire will fade, and only darkness will remain. Yeah, this fuck yeah! This is what Karth describes as the logic of the world. And Thanks, when that dorm happens, and the Colin. gods are supposed to be replaced, and their age of fire is supposed to become an age of dark. In the original Dark Souls, you find yourself at this crossroad. The first flame is about to go out. Yeah, Even Cinder's now, at 1.5 gigs. Barely reaching the world of man, and what follows is a proverbial night. And in this twilight era, the undead curse runs rampant. Okay, so what is the undead curse? Ever since the first flame began to wane, a dark ring of fire has manifested upon the bodies of certain humans, a sign of the dark burgeoning within them. This dark sign marks you as an age. In a way, Dark Souls lore though, reminds me of Kingdom Hearts. Comes at the cost of Except replace soul's heart with soul. Sanity until you eventually hollow. What caused these It's also significantly effects? better, but this question just is an observation. at the very heart of this series. And the answer is really quite complex. You'll have a better time with this, though, if you're familiar with all three games. So when the world first began, a creature called the Pygmy found the Dark Soul. Who they were Thanks, isn't some lucky. Known. Nor is it really important. What is important is that they split the Dark Soul into fragments, and these fragments yeah, should be sad known movie as music. humanity, which is a small black spirit found within every human. Karth refers to the furtive pygmy as your ancestor. Thus, we are descended from one of the four lords. These games frequently question whether the dark force within humans is a positive or a negative thing. Your adventure through Ulysseel in the Artorias of the Abyss DLC is a great example of that. Here, the darkness within man has gone wild. It's endlessly consuming and corrupting the land and the souls of people around it. And yet, there is dialogue here that's supposed to give you pause. I still think on that creature from the Abyss that preyed upon me. My faculties were far from lucid. But I quite clearly sensed certain emotions. A wrenching nostalgia. A lost joy. An object of obsession. What? And a sincere hope to reclaim it. Could these thoughts belong to the beast from the abyss? But if that were true, then perhaps it is no beast after all. 
this same duality. Basically, tier one Pete in the hot tub and tier one Andrew Hale. Which are spells Can't click Link's Crusader. Powerful Plus, it's not a YouTube night. Positive things like I just wanted to watch Dark Souls lore while this downloads. Negative things like hate and envy. But whether it's positive or negative, Gwyn's pantheon fears the dark. For one day, as we mentioned earlier, their age of fire is going to end, and only dark will remain. This was the logic of the world, until Gwyn committed the first sin, and he shackled the darkness within man. This was a revelation we received in the Ringed City DLC. Yeah! The seal of fire around darkness on the dark sign was finally explicitly stated to be a creation of the gods. So for some, like Manus in the first DLC, repression of their humanity causes it to writhe and go mad. However, this seal of fire was placed upon mankind so early in their existence that for most people, their shackles are all that they know. As a result, and this is really important, humankind end up living their lives through souls that they hold completely separate from the humanity that's within them. You only have to look to the white souls of adventurers that you find in game as proof of that. Living like this is the lie that Aldia talked about in Dark Souls 2. This is so fucking deep. All men trust fully the illusion of life. But is this so wrong? A construction of a facade, and yet a world full of warmth and scandalous. Now, oh, hello. Are you intent on shattering the oak, spoiling this wonderful falsehood? But in retrospect, I remember when he said that, and then I beat the fuck out of him. Was this? Once. The Lord of Light banished dark and all that stemmed from humanity. And men assumed a fleeting form. We're led to believe that the dark sign is we should come back kid. with undeath. But Aldia's dialogue means this can't be true. Instead, Aldia says mankind's lives became fleeting when they were branded with the dark sign. So this means that they were originally immortal. Did they pay you to watch this? What the fuck Indeed, does that mean? This is the state that you return. No, I just finished Dark Souls series. What is hollowing? Not humanity waiting for Cinder's mod to download. Within every human, but when the curse was put upon them, humanity became bound, lost, and repressed. So during this age of fire, humanity came to rely heavily on their white soul for their sense of self, and we can see this in the names of these souls. When fire fades, the seal of fire restraining the dark grows weaker. Thus, when fire fades, it follows that our dark soul starts to break free, consuming the white soul that we've come to believe is the self, and this process of losing the self is called hollowing. Dying or losing- Wow, the there's like fucking science behind it here? Okay. So, an undead it breaks down the potassium pump, weakening the covalent bonds. This process. However, as you might remember, the Hollows of Londor in Dark Souls 3 believe that their hollow states are really the most honest shape of man. This isn't an easy to face, man. especially since the Dark Soul has become this ravenous, repressed thing. To stay sane as a hollow, what do you mean, one may need to drain the life of others, and the Hollows of Londor are universally reviled as a result of this. Ultimately, it just leaves you wondering whether this is really the best path for mankind, or whether it's better to just accept the shackles of the gods, or whether humanity's fate has been stolen by the curse either way. How do we cure the undead curse? Well, Marriage. Curse is an actual affliction, just like poison or toxin. You can experience its buildup in game, and what this curse does is it locks the dark soul away from the self. It's really about the barrier, it's about the separation, and the Dark Sigil explains this. It says that as humanity leaks out, the curse accumulates in exchange. Unfortunately, humans are helpless against curses, and all we can do is redirect their influence. For example, when you use a purging stone, what you're doing is not actually curing the curse, you're actually just transferring the curse to this stone, and this stone was, or is, another person. In the what? Controls, we do something similar to this process what called the fuck? reverse hollowing. So this is a process that requires you to have a humanity. And it's easy to assume that we're just absorbing the humanity and restoring our humanity, but what's actually happening here is kind of the opposite. Yes, a humanity sprite is taken into the self, but 
It then acts as a sort of surrogate for the curse, like a purging stone does, and remember, we offer this humanity up to the bonfire. This keeps our white, regular soul safe, and it prevents us from going hollow. Further proof of this dynamic exists in Dark Souls 2, where using a human effigy is just like transferring your curse to a human surrogate. And in Dark Souls 3, we found the Purging Monument, which is this enormous vessel that's overflowing with offered curses. Why did the gods curse humanity? D this so the logic of the world to God, there's so much to this, holy fuck. Only dark will remain. Naturally, Gwyn feared this and- Yeah, I got Medir and five tri-scoots. form upon humanity. The fate of mankind became irreversibly linked to fire, and thus the logic of the world was changed forever. What is the fire linking? It's a ritual for preserving the There's four or flow. five, something With like that. With the decline of fire and the rise of the dark and undeath, the gods were thrown into disarray, and the Lord's peaceful relations ultimately collapsed. Before things broke down, however, they concocted a plan to revive the first flame with a powerful soul, cultivated through fire keepers and undead bonfires. This soul would link itself to the fire, and the fire would inherit a new fuel. So Gwyn was the first to link the fire, and many others have taken up that role since then. What is a bonfire? It's your safe haven. Undead bonfires are fueled by the bones of your own kind, and they're connected to the first flame as a part of a network through coiled swords. The heat that their flames produce heal our injuries and can be collected in a liquid form. Whoa, okay, Estus. Jesus, there's so much water, going on. Light is tied to time in this series. So you can reason that a bonfire's light allows you to warp across time and space to other bonfires in the network. Bonfires and their fire keepers promote undead reliance upon fire, and they promote fire's reliance upon undead. Thanks, it's your one douche bro. Almost certainly behind their creation. As for who went out and placed them in the world, it's hard to say, but it seems like they can be placed anywhere where there are undead bones, since we create one ourselves in Firelink Shrine, and even in early versions of the game, you were supposed to be able to place them yourself. However, it's important to remember that bonfires are primarily a checkpoint mechanic, and gameplay can't always be explained away by lore. Uh, for example, you might think that all undead respawn at the bonfire just like you do, but they don't. According to the Crestfallen Merchant, what actually happens is that undead will lay dead for a while, and then later rise where they fell. <laughs> what is a fire keeper? They're a woman who acts ah, as the living in the Of course, of course, that's what I was thinking. In order to preserve its flame. Just so for long no as reason. So the fire keeper lives, so too does her corresponding bonfire, and vice versa. These women are thus vessels for the countless humanity that is offered to the bonfire, which means that they receive the dark spirits along with the effects of the curse in the transfer. The humanity wriggles beneath their skin, nipping at body and soul, and this the causes prime great pain and horrific scarring, though not at extremities like the head or the hands. Firekeepers bear this suffering so that you can benefit from the bonfire, and it's through them, and by extension the bonfires, that you can strengthen your soul with whatever traits you desire. So be sure to always thank your fire- Yo, shit! What is so, wrong with you? What, what, what does all of it mean? Well, they're really whatever humans believe a deity to be. In most cases, the gods refers to members of Gwyn's pantheon, since they're the most widely worshipped in the world of man. But even those cast out, like Gwyn's firstborn, are still called a war god, simply because some people still worship them. So the nameless such. king was one of Gwyn's However, sons? just being worshipped doesn't mean that you have power. An example of this is Faris, who humans retroactively deified as the goddess of the hunt Evlana in Dark Souls 2. She was just a heroic bow woman, but her story got twisted over the years until she became a god. People get kind of hung up on the god term because they're trying to define the race of beings that carry power in the series. For most of these characters, I quite like the term medial, which is a term proposed by Loki. What are medials? Well, many of the gods' followers and descendants aren't human, gods or giants, so we kind of have to make up a term for these beings. Medials is good. In terms of size, they're often between humans and giants, and these are beings like the daughters of Isolith, or Priscilla, and so on. What are the dead? 
The dead are corpses that decay without the power of life sustaining them. However, some, like skeletons, are often a product of necromancy, and there's evidence that others, like the ghosts of New Londo, become warped by the strong, lingering emotions of the deceased. What is a demon? Jesus Anything Christ! that can be loosely classified as a monster is called a demon, really. In most cases, though, demons refers to chaos demons who were born of the flame of chaos. But there are also Titanite demons, and Dark Souls 2 introduces Covetous and Smelter demons, as well as a demon of song. It's a common argument that a demon in Dark Souls is a chimeric creature, bearing the traits of multiple animals, but this isn't a given. What could be called crow demons are actually called crow men, or corvians. There are also snake men, maggot men, and <laughs> lion men, all of whom are never called demons. Like with gods, but, the term is somewhat arbitrary. Uh, but why? Demon is whatever what is the lore reason? Considered to be a monster. What is chaos? Chaos is the nature of fire and life. Life is rooted in the soul. The soul is a product of fire's disparity. Therefore, life, like disparity, is chaotic. The witch of Isolith found the Lord Soul that represents this, and she tried creating her own fire of life to match that of the first flame. Unfortunately, this sparked a flame of chaos, which creates and transforms new, often grotesque, forms of life. These became known as the Chaos Demons, and they threatened Gwyn's rule. So you'll notice that they're stamped out at every turn in all chapters of this series. The Witch of Isolith's yearning for flame became the basis for pyromancy, and pyromancy is one of her strongest surviving legacies. What is pyromancy? Pyromancy is a physical form of magic. Pyromancers carry along with them a piece of flame that's passed down from teacher to student, stretching all the way back to the witch. I'm so fucking lost on how it all connects. Holy shit. Sharing that with oh, the humans. so much. Pyromancers then use that. I understand pyromancy. Spells. And despite the name, pyromancy isn't actually limited Medials to Medials and stuff, fire, though, I'm getting lost. It can actually conjure all kinds of elements, like iron or poison. But these are rarer arts, since pyromancy is a religion that reveres flame. Just so, you can manifest pyromancies like miracles with your faith, or actually even learn to perform them like sorceries with your intelligence. What is sorcery? It's a mental form of magic. Sorcerers study the natural laws of the world to actually... Yeah, I guess my brain just isn't big enough for Dark Souls function. lore. It's a they lot. They use this knowledge to manipulate their power and formulate the process it's a fucking system, ton which we call sorcery they're basically magic scientists and academics and there are sorceries from anything from souls to light to the dark of the abyss yeah what maybe just one boss at a time a spiritual form maybe this was just biting off too much what was the what was it artorius was the one the abyss walker yeah let's just let's let's go there in Gwyn's age of we were over none here none of them dared to speak his name and then there was kidan whose talents no, wait, we differed considerably this. for nothing. Not dragons, nor go. disunity, nor even his enemies frightened Gwyn like the dark. The dark soul of man you, filled the Lord of Light with fear, for one day, Gwyn knew, the fire would fade and humanity would inherit the world. His world. So while he still had time... Just Google power, Dark Souls. Gwyn began oh, to man, read trying to the, watch the video. his favor. It's more Mankind cool. had stood amongst those who set out to slay the ancient dragons, and as if in thanks, Gwyn bestowed upon pygmies and men the Ringed City, an enormous, gilded city located at World's End. The walls were as tall as mountains, and above them soared Medea, an immortal arch dragon that was raised by the gods. And also overhyped by the chat. slumbered Gwyn's youngest daughter, the princess Filianor. A woman of enormous faith and power, who Gwyn gave up to protect the pygmies until the very end of the world. And at first glance, you might think these acts benevolent, you might think they were kind, but in the end, it was just a trick of the light. The walls were not for protection. The dragon had an eternal duty to battle the dark, and Gwyn's daughter, Filianor, would never see her father again. Oh, the purpose gosh. of the Ringed City was not to protect the holders of the original Dark Soul, it was to imprison them like a ring of fire that encircles the darkness of humanity. 
and man was, in fact, branded with this very seal, the Dark Sign. And despite clear evidence of their heroism in the war against the dragons, their Dark Knights never were lauded for their service. So it's no wonder, then, that in all of the spellcraft and the hexes that stem from humanity, one thing remains constant. It craves a free will of its own, and it writhes against its shackles. Perhaps the first example of this was the Mad King. He was pygmy royalty, and he rebelled against the light. We have no idea what crimes he committed, but they must have been terrible, for he was put to death by Shira, a knight of Filianor. Only the Mad King would not die. What a cool and weapon! Shira, with the Mad King impossibly entwined around her spear, had no choice but to hold him quietly in a dark room until the end of time. There were, of course, other human cities outside of the Ring City. The prime One such there. example was the dark city of New Londo, which was governed by four human kings and protected by Knights of the Dark Blade. The kings were renowned for their foresight, and they even had fragments of Gwyn's very own soul bestowed upon them, so that they could better govern their people. Of course, this too was another trick of the light, for what lies at the top of New Londo but Filing Shrine, a place of undead sacrifice to Gwyn's Age of Fire. So no human city was permitted to flourish without a clear benefit to the Age of Fire, and there was no better example of this than another human city called Uldasil, which was the golden land of light sorceries. Light, it turns out, can be manipulated to foster illusions. It can hide your intentions, Whoa! it can even mess with the fabric of time. And spells of this nature would be of great value to the gods in the coming years. So, Ulusil flourished, an exemplary city for Gwyn's pantheon, because it was proof that humanity could be taught to serve their interests. And so it was that a group of missionaries from Ulusil embarked upon the ringed city, perhaps to preach and reinforce the power of the light in this dark city. One of these missionaries was called Half-Light, hey! and he was a talented individual yeah. who was wielding the powerful artifacts of his homeland. He would go on to earn the favor of Filianor, and he would even earn the legendary dragon weapon of Medea. So it was no surprise that Half-Light elected to stay behind, becoming the last recorded Spear of the Church. And just as Half-Light visited the Ringed City and That's when even Zittler stayed behind, paid him a visit and the reverse them. was also true of a certain pygmy from the Ringed City. This pygmy's name was Manus. And while we know nothing about the nature of his visit to Ulusil, we do know one thing. He died there, and the body of primeval man, of Manus, was put to rest far, far beneath the city itself. Manus, I think, is still the hardest in the entire Dark Souls series. I think he took me more than Manus, Nameless King. And a lot is left to the Pretty imagination. Sure what we do know is that he was a pygmy far from home. He was a part of a race that Gwyn was doing everything in his power to suppress. And when you think on Manus' fate, it's kind of hard to imagine that Gwyn did How did the Gale fight go? Four tries. It. Especially since Gwyn had an order of assassins, the Lord's Blades, in his employ. The leader of the Lord's Blades was Kidan, the Hornet. It stated that she laid waste to Gwyn's enemies. And of course, there's no proof that the Lord's Blades actually killed Manus. But you could also argue that that's rather the point of assassins, isn't it? Whatever the case, the tide was turning, mankind was struggling against the world order, and even New Londo, which was once a haven for undead, had turned into a hideous spawning ground for the Abyss and its dark wraiths. At the heart of this uprising was a serpent no, I've never named played Bloodborne Kaf, DLC. who swayed the four kings and taught its undead knights how to pillage back their humanity. Some descriptions even say that dark wraiths became the most human of all. But to others, the dark wraiths are the enemies of man and any living thing that has a soul. So as the age of man crept ever closer, yet another knight of Gwyn appeared, perfectly equipped to face it, the great knight Artorius. With a great sword waited to strike harder against servants of the dark, a great wolf who defined their fighting style yeah! and covenant with the beasts of the abyss. Knight Artorius and Sif defiantly faced the worst of mankind. 
Yet We're watching the Game the end, Awards today? The terror the fuck that was awards? the Dark Wraiths could only be stifled with the sacrifice Wait, of what? their- What are you talking about? What Game Awards? No fucking Game Awards today. BAFTA? What the fuck is BAFTA? BAFTA Game Awards? Never heard of this. It's a boomer era award show. Yeah, I've never heard of this. When is it? I mean, is it on Twitch? It's the British Academy Game Awards. No, Cinder's not ready. It's on Twitch Gaming Channel. Um, what time? Let me see. Maybe. I do love these fucking gamer events. Uh, let's see. Time. Oh god, I accidentally clicked on Forbes. What a mistake. March 12th at 3. Oh, it just started. According to this, it started at 3 p.m. So, has it started? Let's see. BAFTA Game Awards 2021, baby! Is Kojima? Uh, it's not very popular, it seems. Yeah. That's it. That's Appreciate it, Big Dan. Yeah, dude, perfect wants to, sure. Makes a bit lizard. Game design I think I'll probably just pass on the BAFTA Game Awards. Such was the power of their four kings and the resilience of their abyss. Oof. Luckily for Gwyn, such a safety measure had oh. been put in place years moly. ago. And so the sealers of New Londo watched stoically as water <clears throat> rushed into the city and thousands of innocents died by their hand. The entire city was sacrificed to contain them, for that is how great a threat they were. Never heard of that human, but, but I wouldn't while watch Gwyn that. did manage to put the new Londo threat on hold, no one was prepared for the outbreak in Ulysil. I imagine when they figured out that a primeval human was buried beneath their very city, the temptation must have been too great to resist. Believe it or not, Ulysil has brought the abyss upon itself, fooled by that toothy serpent. They upturned the grave of primeval man and incited his ornery wrath. What could they have been thinking? Like the mad pygmy king before him, Manus rejected death and he was as far from peace as could be. The raw emotion of humanity that we mentioned earlier billowed outwards, corrupting the townsfolk of Ulysil, and Manus became the father of an unstoppable dark abyss. Curiously, though, it's almost as if he was searching cool, for though. something, using his power to reach across time and space until he found it. Instead, he found Dusk, Princess of Ulysil. I still think on that creature from the abyss that preyed upon me. My faculties were far from lucid, but I quite clearly sensed certain emotions. A wrenching nostalgia, a lost joy, 
an object of obsession and a sincere hope to reclaim catching up on the dark Could souls lore now that we finished them to the beast from the abyss but if that were true then perhaps it is no beast after all the object of his obsession was a pendant and with it in our possession we're pulled back back to a time where all appears lost well look at this one from what far away age has thou <laughs> a fucking dumb mushroom the scent is very human indeed but not intolerable i am elizabeth guardian of this sanctuary thou shalt see further on an abyss was begat of the ancient beast and threatens to swallow the whole of Ulysseu. The city is lost, the abyss is spreading, and mankind has succumbed to the worst parts of their nature. When Gwyn heard of Manus and his abyss, Artorius must have been the first one sent to deal with the threat. He was, after all, the best equipped, but fighting dark wraiths is considerably different to the power of primeval man. So Artorius was bested and was forced to retreat. No! Beset by the Abyss, the final act of Artorius was to protect his companion. He shielded Sif with the divine power of his great shield. After all, his arm was broken and he could no longer bear the burden. Then, Artorius himself was overcome. All of you, forgive me. For I have failed nothing. Knight Artorius came to stop this. But such a hero has nearly a murmur of dark. Without Makes doubt, he will Peter be Pan. swallowed by the abyss, overcome by its utter blackness. Indeed, the abyss may be unstoppable. All was lost, and yet strangely, soon after the spread of the abyss was actually halted, and Man, this Princess is deep Dusk as fuck. of all the seal miraculously I never even noticed his arm was broken. Artorius's name henceforth passed into legend. The knight who gave his life to disperse the abyss to rescue the princess of Ulysseel. This is a lie, of course. In reality, it is we who rescued the princess, and we fulfilled the legacy of Artorius. This may strike thine ear as somewhat peculiar, but long ago, in my homeland of Ulysseel, I was beset by a creature from the abyss. I would have perished then, were it not for the great knight Artorius. In truth, I saw little of what transpired, for mine senses were already fled, but even still, there was something about Thank Artorius, yeah, watch your a tell certain her. balance of the humors that quite perfectly fits your semblance. Heavens, could it be that? With this, Manus' suffering has ended. But Manus wasn't the only corruption of the Abyss that we killed in all the seal. There was also Artorius. The legend of Artorius is a lie. He did not vanquish the father of the Abyss. He did not eliminate the dark wraiths of New Londo. The Abyss is unstoppable. And yet, eons later, the legend of Artorius would inspire a legion of Abyss Watchers who continue to rage against the dying of the light. Yes, the abyss is unstoppable, but they fight nonetheless. Even in this state, notice that Artorius continues to seek out and kill corruptions of humanity. He's still in there somewhere, but his legend can only live on with his death. Only his fellow knights knew the truth. But they would take his soul and his secret. Damn you, Artorius! And while Artorius' soul was corrupted by the worst of humanity, it was the best of humanity that redeemed it. And the hero of Ulysseel would disappear without a trace, almost as if he didn't belong. For in reality, he didn't. And eons later, deep within an enchanted wood, behind two locked doors and a troop of forest protectors, an ancient cat speaks the truth. The legend of Artorius are none but a fabrication. Traversing the dark, tis but a fairy tale. 
Alvina is keen to downplay the legend of Artorias because heroes Victory and bandits Goose have begun seeking out his grave. Wasted. They would desecrate his legacy for the secret of abyss walking. About ten years, dull. And they may do harm to Sif, who, in fact, Alvina helped you rescue back when the world was still young. Imagine what Sif is feeling when you cross paths again years later. You're duty bound to seek the abyss, and Sif is duty bound to stop you. One of you will have to die, because Sif cannot give you the Covenant of Artorias willingly. Maybe, in death, he can find his friend Artorias again. So fucking sad! Then I beat the shit out of it. Easy boss fight, nerd. Can't stop anyone from going to the abyss, huh? Before I go, I just want to say a couple more things. Firstly, this video was made far, far better by the contributions of a guy called the Parry God. Who recorded footage for me this time. It allowed me to sort of focus more on the- That's sweet, he gives him a whole minute long shout out. What cool lore! Fuck, it's just so much to take in. Like, it's an overwhelming amount of lore to keep up with. Good news, it was just long enough. Cinders is less than, what, what is this? Less than a hundred megabytes away from downloaded, so we'll play Cinders in just a second. I'm gonna fill up my water. So, I'll be right back. Probably by the time I'm back, it'll be ready. So, give me one minute.
You gullible idiots. I lied right to your face. I said I was filling up my water, but what I actually did is filled up my water and got a snack. And you didn't even fucking suspect it. Embarrassing. Thanks to Prime Gozing and the tier 1 Ugga, Ugga Bugga. And the tier- oh, the tier 1 Gozing and the tier 1 Ugga Bugga. Thank you. Okay. It's done downloading. Okay, so I just put it into the Dark Souls 3 folder. <clears throat> okay. Thanks to the gift sub human and the gift sub reverb. I didn't see JoJo's in there. Back up your saves first so you don't lose them. Bro, I don't give a fuck about my save. I wasn't going to do New Game Plus anyway. How did you know I ate a Luna Bar? Good guess. It didn't pop up on my side, but thanks for the resub then too. Lemon zest is the best. I haven't had that, that flavor. When you get to Firelink Shrine, you should activate Curse of Attraction. It adds new enemy types and minor bosses. Sure. Blueberry one slaps hard. Fuck yeah. The chocolate peppermint and blueberry one, absolutely, those bang. Okay, so I've got Cinder's Mod installed in the Dark Souls 3 game directory. Uh, am I done? Now do I just run the game? Thanks for some Dark Magician Goral in AMF. You're good? Alright, let's run it. Oh, I still have the PS5 audio in the background because I'm downloading Bloodborne. Hold on. Let me restart. Also, do I have to sign out of Steam for this and just run it from uh, the actual folder? Because some guy keeps spamming that. Is that a real thing or not? Nah? Oops. No? Okay, cool. Bloodborne is also done downloading, so once we're done with Cinder's mod, we go right into Bloodborne. <clears throat> Thank you, Grim. Seduce the Firekeeper. Did they add romance options? You can get banned, but I don't think you care. I definitely care about getting banned. What do you mean? Is it tier one KB? You can get banned if you go online. Yeah, but I'm playing in offline. Okay, I'll ask again. Is playing offline on Steam fine, or do I need to actually log out of Steam and then run this through the file uh, the uh, folder? Okay, it's fine. Oh, I forgot to change category.
Thanks for resub Lemon. Hey, well thanks, Razor. And thanks to the Prime Wizard. Glad you're enjoying it. Alright, let's get it. Yes, indeed. Cinder is inactive? What do you mean? It is called Lothric. Wait, was that not it? Is this not it? It's installed correctly. Thanks to Gifts of Dorm, I followed the steps. I, I just immediately froze the game like an idiot. Hey, well, thank you, Lewis. Hope you're doing well. But I, I had already closed out of the game when people panicked and said that it didn't activate, but whatever. We'll try again. You're supposed to create a new save that would be the modded playthrough. That's what I'm doing. Thanks to resub cauliflower. Nah, I'm just going to stick offline anyway, Colt. It says cinder over under everything. Yeah, this doesn't seem right. Okay. Check again. So just like I said, or just like chat said, I made a mod folder and I put cinders in here. Is that correct? I extracted it there. Thanks to tier one Mars munitions. It has to go outside of a mod folder. Okay. So then the people that said to make the mod folder have fucked me in the ass. Let's get rid of this. I'll just redo it then. It has to go in the main folder. Gotcha. All right. This is the prime Spartan. Yeah. Yeah, I'm extracting it into game now. This is the prime Mosby. And the resub Mikey. And Hugh Neutron. <clears throat> and the tier one oxygen. <sighs> Thanks to the gift sub twos and threes. The installation guide or readme will help. Well, I'm pretty sure this is just the last thing I needed. So we'll see. Almost done. Thanks to Prime Harry. If it works, it'll say cinders on the title screen. Uh, I'm sure this will work now. I'm pretty confident this will work now. Thanks to three gift subs, Jimmy. Okay, just finished. Run it! Let's go, Cinders Mod! Thank you, Colt. It 
Cinders version 2.0, baby, we're in. Oh, sweet. Thanks, Mars. Appreciate the generosity, man. Yes. All right. Let's go back to Officer Greg now. Whoops. Officer Greg, let's run it. So what build do we want here? Holy shit. Why is this guy significantly cooler than all of the others? I think we just do samurai. What kind of build? Is this another dexterity build though? There's more. Oh, there is. This one's pretty cool. This one's pretty cool. Is this a fucking keyblade? Damn, there's a lot of options here. Okay, what what is chat feeling? There's a lot of fucking cool ones. I'm still leaning towards either samurai, maybe jester, maybe summoner, and then the other one I thought was cool was a uh, brawler. Jester stats suck. Well, it doesn't matter about the fucking stats. Yeah, you can pull it if you want, sure. Let a poll run. Thanks, Resub Smason. What kind of build does Jester even go for? Like, I see Lux very high, but does that scale with any of the weapons here? What options? Jester, Jester Paladin, Summoner, Samurai. Oh, uh, there's only four. Okay, we'll do Jester, Summoner, Samurai, and... Hmm. Can't decide between Brawler and Paladin. Thanks for your sub Sparrow. I think Paladin's pretty cool. Okay, Paladin will be the fourth option. Yeah, so I imagine this build would be entirely fists. I can't remember what it's called, like the the castus, castus or whatever. Damn, no one was really feeling Summoner. I thought Summoner sounded cool. It's like a Pokemon Master. Jester is just spells. Doesn't look like it, is it? Oh, whoops. Next we sub Preston and Sparrow and Man Batman. I don't care if it's a good class. It doesn't really matter to me. I'll play whatever class. I'd fucking do Deprived if the chat wanted, but I feel like that wouldn't be super fun. We should have something cool. Jester is bleed build. I haven't done bleed build. <clears throat> Look, man, worst comes to worst, if it's a boring class, we just switch. We don't have to stay married to it the whole time. 
Thanks to the bitch white lovemaking. You can see the spells right there. Yeah, but it doesn't look like it's all spell casting. Okay, it looks like Jester won. Uh, there's still a little left, but it, it seems like most of the votes are in. We're running Jester. If it's shitty, we'll switch off. Holy lord. Tablet of Legends enables hard mode. What? Alright, hard mode, let's go! Man, I hope Jester's not actually dog shit. Hopefully it's at least usable. Thanks to the Prime Sock. Fecal Explo Expulsion. Fuck yeah. Now we're cooking. If this class is just unusably bad, we can just switch, man. I'm not worried about it. Dismal Knight. Does Fecal Explosion do anything? Let's see. Oh, fuck. It is- what? The Fecal Explosion's going nuts! What? Yeah! Oh, I don't know why I did that. He's- he's fucked. What do you mean, Jester's dog shit? I just literally shit on this man. Qu quite literally, lore-wise, shit on that guy. That wasn't even close. I didn't even have to fucking fight. I shit spitted all over that man. This is hard mode. I put on hard mode at the start. This is the Cinders mod. This is Cinders 2.0. Not that I played the 1.0, but this is Cinders 2.0. Thanks to the Prime, Yuki. And the resub meat beating time. Will you do DLC this run? I did DLC in the uh, initial playthrough. This is, a, this is a mod, bro, so I'm pretty sure it's gonna be here. This is not the same game anymore. As you can see with the Dismal Knight being here. Thanks to Prime Neck Wolf. I'm not even gonna bother getting my Estus back. seem bad. Oh, I have to use the tablet? Nope, you're just wrong. What? It's not here. I think it activates by... It's in the other tab. Oh. Okay, that didn't work. I'm pretty sure just having it activates hard mode. Which is why it said it can't be undone if I choose that. Reduces absorption by 25%, reduces soul absorption by 75%, reduces stamina recovery by 10, and reduces resistance against status effects by 50. 
Wait, what? And there's more? What else? Removes the ability to sell items. Holy shit. That doesn't even sound like a fun hard mode. It just sounds like a chore. Hi ya! Shit on. Oh, he is not taking much damage this time. <laughs> He's not taking any. This man was born in shit. Uh oh. This guy is shit immune. Oh, I can level up at any bonfire now. Good. What is my shit scale with? Like, my actual shit spitting. What does that scale with? Intelligence? Because I can't imagine spitting shit is the sign of, like, a master sorcerer or something. Scales with luck? Okay. It doesn't seem right. It doesn't scale. Really? Let me see. Will it show me if I just go to the spell? Wait, where do I go to spells? Fuck, I haven't used spells in so long. Is it probably Mega Whale? The thing you use to cast scales with luck? My pyromancy flame? Your gear gives passive bonuses. Okay, let's see. Wait, so I don't take any fall damage from any height? No, there's no fucking way. Jester's Pyro Flame scales with luck, chat. That would make sense considering that my luck stat is my highest. I'm gonna bring this to 25, and then we'll go for something else. Thanks, the resub, Jenska. Man, the gang's all here. Okay, there's a lot going on here.
Does this even cost anything to use? Oh yeah, very barely. Thanks to Prime Shroomy. Shit only run? Hmm. Maybe. MP region. Oh my god, you're right! Bro, Jester seems kind of broken. I can just shit on everything. I just clear ads easily. Okay, hold on. Accidentally missed. Just one shit is all it takes. Hopefully. Ideally, I'd do that from a distance, but you get the idea. Thanks to Risa Blaze and Tier 1 Pineapple. Oh god. Now how long does a uh, poopy damage last? Like how long is this guy going to be dripping shit? Looks like forever. Oh, oops. So 700 on that. You're getting hurt by your own shit? Uh, I got hurt when I accidentally hit myself with it. Yeah, I noticed that. Everyone was saying how bad Jester is, but I mean, this fucking... Uh, diarrhea mouth attack seems nuts. They're fucked. Especially with regening FP too, I can just I absolutely clear everything. I've become one of the Lords of Cinder here instantly. The Lord of sh Shitter. Yeah, not far enough. Oh God. Life gym. Born to shit, forced to wipe. Amen, brother. Defense is kind of low, though. I'll just never get hit. Oh shit! Oh god! Oh god! I didn't mean to throw it twice. Fuck. That was an accident. My bad. That's on me. Thanks to the resub yeet. Cast time slow, yeah, but I didn't mean to throw it twice, I would've been fine. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Hiya! You know what? Just reset. Thanks to reset anytime. Yeah, this is Cinder's. Put on the Covenant of Champions? Is that a ring? No, it's not. What is it? Revive Dismal Knight.
It's a covenant, most likely. Ah, oh, shit. Wait. This was dumb. I thought it made Dismal Knight fight for me. Oh god, I'm dead. Thought I had more time. My god, what a waste of my souls. Mushoku Tensei? I don't know what that is, but yeah, maybe. Oh, I didn't stack the shit on him that time, I guess. Get the Rotten Grew Spear for extra poison. Yeah, I'll just do like a full toxic build. Like the grimiest, filthiest swamp man build. Yeah, this shit is just OP though. I like it. I just need to build it correctly. The Lord of Sphincter run. Yeah. King of the Swamp run. No, I don't have enough. The actual garbage man is here, baby. Let's go! Okay, come on. Gotcha. Pussy. Oh, I thought he was going to fall. Oh, there he goes. Big Reed! What a calculation! I'm the last fecal bender. There we go. Drinking Estus? Uh oh. Yeah, this is a mod. This is Cinder's mod. Thanks, Arisa Royce. Are there really two dozen starting classes? Oh, there was a ton of starting classes, yeah. Come on! Go 
going to Firelink for the extra challenge altar. Uh, let me kill the, the knight over here first and then I'll do that. Hey, Simple Flips. Hope you've been doing well, man. Appreciate the bits. It's been a while. Shit and run. Let's go. He's almost dead. Outplayed. How do I use my company of champions or whatever? Welcome to the I tell the law to this very well that hey. Farewell, I should meet. Oh, because it's a covenant item? Oh, so it's not like an actual covenant thing that oh, I do. This The right sauce of your inventory? What? You equip it in the inventory. I, I don't see the company of champions. Thanks for the bits yeet. Use the Dismal Lights Night Soul for level up. Yeah, but I'm not- I don't need to farm right now. The equipment inventory? What? What are you talking about? What am I looking for again? What the fuck are you- what are you, what are you trying to get me to do? I- I forgot. Oh, this! Oh. Is there any benefit to being in the company of champions? Thanks, the resub leopard. Let's see. This increases the strength and toughness of inner uh, enemies. Okay. Alright, Company of Champions, let's run it. I can just shit on everything, I don't care if they're stronger. In fact, it might even be better for me if they're stronger. More souls. Saw on the wiki that your pyromancy flame doesn't actually scale with luck. Stop pouring levels into that useless stat. I mean, I'm sure there's a reason why he starts with the highest luck. My sword skill? I don't think my sword scales with luck. Let's see. Uh, well, it says lucky key to the embedded, so maybe. That guy was reading the vanilla wiki, probably. I think it's a- yeah, people said that this is a bleed build, but I'm just gonna stack filth. So all of my shit's gonna be stink based, and doesn't luck help with poison? Thanks for your sub slurp and status ailment in general. Uh-oh. 
Where... Where's the next set? Probably back to where I killed that knight just a second ago, right? Oh no, I just go right to the high wall of Lothric. <laughs> of course, TPC. And thanks to resub slurp. Buy the dark pyromancy flame? Eh, I don't need it right now, but maybe soon. out of range. Oh boy. Uh, the dogs do seem faster. I'm guessing the mod increased their speed. Or maybe it's just in my head, but they definitely do feel faster. I wonder if that'll just straight kill. Yeah. It looks like it stacks up to 700. Pretty wacky! Uh oh, oh god. That was good, who's fucked? We're stuck! Uh. Stacks to 750. Okay, pretty good, pretty good. to the gift sub leopard yeah that's what i've been trying to do road talk i'm trying to angle this shit a little higher Get on, pussy! I don't know if it's- oh boy, I might not have gotten the uh, actual shit buff. Oh, it didn't kill. Nope! Oh boy. God damn it! Embrace the stink! Oh boy. There we go. Probably dead. Oh, unlucky. <laughs> I am truly the master huntsman. That was beautiful! What tactics! Snipe him with the shit. 
Then get an easy plunge. I'm a fucking genius. This really is just like a whole new fucking game with this mod, bro. This is massively different. And what did I just commune? They sent me right to Ringed City. Holy shit. I'm just gonna get bring luck to 25 regardless. There's a reason this stat's here and it's gonna help with my stink build. So at 25, I'm then gonna save up to get the stink spear. And then after the stink spear, we'll, uh, we'll go around. He's the prime gal. Oh shit, I forgot about the dogs. Oh boy, oh boy. Oh, that was close. Oh god. Please the reset aluminum and love. Oh shit. Please the reset bear milk. Calculation. Oh god. Man. I missed timing this pretty badly. I can just clear this whole... Oh, boy! Easy farming methods! Oh, God. No, no, no! I'm able to just rain shit easily. There we go. Got the stink on him. Oh, yeah! It's too good! I'm nutty! I'm actually just a better player. This has got to be one of the best farming classes in the mod. I remember was saying how bad the class is, and maybe it gets bad later on, but right now that shit is busted strong. Ooh, damn, Jesus, 
Thank you for the 25 gift subs, Wanders Way. Good to see you again. Hope you had a good night last night. Thank you for the generosity again. Holy shit. This is Cinders. We finished Dark Souls 3 base and all the DLC. We did every boss, so now we're doing Cinders. Thanks for Prime, Tucker. Anything happen if you two hand the weapon? No, it's just a normal weapon. Is there some crim shade? Damn, I can't quite squeeze it in. Come on. Maybe the team gives up spooky. Okay, can't reach. the fall damage. Oh yeah, I forgot to do that. Ugh. Damn it. Yeah, I do also wonder how this build will do in the end game. Wasted so many life gems now. Wonder if the dragon's still here. Thanks to the prime Nepsy. I immediately got the knight with it. Poor guy. Uh oh, shit. We're good. We're fucking good, boys. I'll use another just to play it safe. Oh, bonfire's in the room under the dragon. That's fine, I can go back. getting a ton of souls for this covenant that I put on. Doesn't feel like a lot. Wonder how long it'll be before the first poison immune boss. It can be immune to poison, but it can't be immune to shit. It's impossible. Also, your souls is cut by 75. Oh, true, true. They put on the uh, hard mode. Okay, that was too early. Oh, baby, but 
I squeaked it out. Woo! Alright, who sells the stink spear? Who's selling the um, septic tank scepter or whatever? Uh, that's what I want. I think I can afford it, right? It's probably cheap. Thanks for the resub burger. Let's see, what does this do? Lightning damage. Oh, the mimic isn't even gonna get up? It doesn't know how to handle it. Oh, this is so sad. Just a genuine outplay on every level. Test fall damage? Yeah. <laughs> Um, where do I, the fuck, uh, buy that, so, uh, poison spear, Christ, this is a stink build, Marzi, this is a mod, though, and thank you, bronze, and the reset of the minted hounds. Turn on the extra challenges so you can have more souls, don't I have them all on? Blue blood, blue blood scales with luck. Can't use it efficiently though. <clears throat> Grooves drop it in smoldering lake. Okay. There's a challenge altar in Firelink Shrine. Let me just level up. In this version, you have to talk to the Acolyte in Gundir's Arena. Okay, where's the challenge mode here? <laughs> Ashen one. Behind the top throne? Okay. So that didn't work. Is shit the only skill you can equip with this character? No. Just the only one I have right now. There's a sword shrine in front of Bonfire. Too late. I already left. Oh. Yeah, I just read an email about that cactus. Crazy. But the one I talked about was fake. Oh my god, what beautiful kiting there. Woo!
Oh boy. Hold on, I want to gather them all up again. Oh boy, that's unlucky. I'm dead. I didn't realize this path did not continue. Fuck. Okay, I went a little too uh, rambunctious. Only 600 souls, not a big deal. To be honest, the hard mode here doesn't doesn't seem worth it. It's just less soul absorption and less stamina. Doesn't really seem that cool. I thought it would just make the enemies harder, like more moves or something. He's got one shot through that. It's just an annoyance nobody uses it. Yeah. Yeah. It just seems like a bit of an annoyance. Maybe I will just restart. Jester again. I didn't really get anything. And I'm not very far. I think I'm just going to do that. Because this just does seem like a hassle with no real reason to use it. I can't change hard mode. I have to restart. Here's the Prime Fleep. Accursed for real man? Fuck no, I'm sticking with this build. I'll probably do a few playthroughs of Cinders, to be honest. This is really cool. Thanks the resub, Brian. Alright, the Stink Sorcerer, and let's get it. I forgot to put a gift on. Eh, whatever. I'm gonna give some butter. Okay, good start. <laughs> okay. I missed my roll. I used to reset, kid. Good to see you, man. Hope you're doing well, emotions. Yeah, hard mode is turned off now. It wasn't really hard mode, it was just like inconvenience mode. Just less souls, less stamina. Run. Oh, thanks, emotions. Glad to hear you're doing well. Exit tier 1 Azaria. So now this is actually gonna make a difference when I join that- or when I put that covenant thing on. Oh, this guy's immune to shitting. Oh wait, maybe he's not. Let's try. Maybe he just needs more shit particles. Nah, I think he's definitely immune to shitting. Nope! 
Nobody is immune. There is no escape. Poor guy. Sub crunked. So you said I can actually buy the stink spear right away? Oh, I give the 50 emotions. I don't I don't think I'll do a subathon, but thank you. God damn, next three sub forget. What is this? Three sub thresh in the tier one dock, not so strange. Thanks a long time of watching, Crunked. Thanks for some Mandy. I can't do online duels in the mod. Thanks to resub master clock. So who? Someone said that I can just buy this from somebody here. You need to do curses, it's a better hard mode. Well, how do I do curses? So I can pretty much have any armor in the game. Oh, that's so fucking cool. Just make it look that like uh, the armor. Full-blown fashion souls. Okay. Let's make a very beautiful looking stink mancer. The absolute Methodist messiah. Maybe this... Oh, definitely this, I think, right? Like, this This is gonna look nice. Yeah, this is an actual fucking butthole face. That's beautiful. I do like Dark Sign, because then there's just, like, another asshole there. So I'm gonna go that. And the gloves and shit don't really matter. Oh, man, you can get real deep into fashion souls here. Okay, let's get like a green fart kind of aura. Maybe maggots could work. Dung? Yes. Okay, okay. So how do I apply these? Oh, fuck yeah. Okay, now let's apply dung. Yep, perfect. Now we're ready. Let's get it. So there's no way I can get that poison spear, the, the like the real stinky spear or whatever. I can't get that yet. Prime bin in the resub. 
Nick Damar. Speed run. Yeah, I do wish it didn't make this constant hissing noise. But it's fine, it's fucking whatever. You can buy it from Andre, but you need the well, Dreamcatcher's ashes. Something that said throbbing, I didn't see it. It wasn't me. Oh, yes! There is a throbbing spell. That works out perfectly for me. Damn, I've got like the ideal build coming up. Fucking god build. Thanks to the resub Cheetos. Hold on, give me one sec. Was there anything back this way? I don't remember. Thanks to Prime Jeroof. Exhibit serotonin. Thank you the 20 gift subs unlikable keck. Thank you the big gift sub generosity, man. Appreciate it. Uh, nothing back here. Yeah, I don't know where to get curses though, bro. Acolyte Grudori? Where is that? Yeah, I know the tree jump. He's in the Gundir arena? I just went through that entire arena and didn't see anyone that was selling curses. The guy with the pointed hat? He was selling curses? check. This guy sells them. Oh, you're right. <laughs> what are these? So what do they do? It doesn't say. Enemies, oh wow. Okay, let's try it. And then what about this? Oh, this just makes them, uh, 
What's this? Let's go. Whoops. Let's go. All right. Obscurity. Ooh. Pass on that one. That doesn't look fun. Holy shit. Okay, let's just see how this goes first, and then I can come back for more curses. Curse of Attraction fits. Yeah, thematically with my lore, Curse of Attraction works well. Oh, these dogs are going to be a real pain in the ass. They're just going to one-shot me. Dead. He missed. Okay, looking good. Okay, I'm not noticing a whole ton of souls. More souls, that is. You're getting 16 per dogs on the last run, but that was also with the hard mode turned on. Uh oh. Uh oh, fuck! Oh, good. Thanks for your sub cargor. Man, if I get hit by an arrow, though, I just insta-die. That's gonna be rough. Oh shit, shit, shit! No, I'm dead. Never mind, I'm a genius. What is she doing? Oh, she's taking cover from the shit storm. She's smart. Come on! Come on! There we go. Gotcha. Uh-oh. No! Estes! That's cheating! Oh god. What the fuck? So much justice. There we go. Got her. What do you mean? So much justice. Good god. Also, they didn't. They actually didn't do nearly as much damage to me as I was expecting. Thanks to Resub Space Dog. Best Souls game to play? I'd say probably just go to 3. 3 is just so fucking good. Plus, there's a lot of cool mods. Was that a player? No, this is all offline.
Nah. What should I put all my points into? Thanks to reset gluten intolerance. No, Rotok. Thanks to reset Justin. All your equipped scales with luck. Through some gorilla. All right, all in on luck. Let's get it. The extra enemy's curse is only level 1. There is only a level 1 option. At least I think there is only a level 1 option. Because when I clicked it, it just insta-enabled. Thanks to Reset Mindsberg. Uh oh, shit! Fucking master farmer here. There's the prime stepwise and toe collector. Close. He almost got me with that. Oh no, God! Too confident. Thanks, Risa Brian, the Prime Tugboat. That went a little too far down. Thanks, the two gift subs controversy. Oh no! Oh. That's kind of frustrating. I have to put these all back on every time. What? Rough. That's a good straw hat. Infuse Rotten Grew Spear with Blood Gym. Yeah, but I don't know where the Rotten Grew Spear is. Okay, let's just stop going through each enemy. Actually, I will not make it through dogs. Not with this mod. They are way too fast. After dogs, then we'll just go through. Holy shit. No, it's... It's it's a Cinder's mod. Dulu. Thanks for your sub home. Hold my rim. God, these dogs are fucking me up now. You find the dream catcher's ashes required for shit spear at Farron's keep. Gotcha. Oh my god. They're so fucking fast! 
I did not think that would one shot me. Does this actually change the properties of my gear? Because I don't think I was getting one shot like that when I had this shit on. Thanks, the resub Syndra. You had Ember before? Oh, you're right, you're right, I still had Ember. Forgot. I need to give subs controversy. Doing alright, Gnome. Hope you're doing well. Thanks to the gift sub, Cthulhu. Sub signature flow. Played D and D. I've played a couple times. Okay. I haven't seen the finale of ReZero yet. I didn't know it was the last. I didn't know it was the last episode of part two. Here's the resub Kapski in Cthulhu. Sleep well, or have a good day, controversy.
I might turn off the 100% damage bonus, that way it's not a one-shot on every attack. Oh god, why? Oh, fucking okay. You played the original Dark Souls? Of course. Why does he give some straw hat? Have you done Convergence? No, I haven't played that. I've heard about it though, people kept saying to try Convergence too. I probably will, but I want to do this one first. No, fuck! Let me out! What playthrough is it for you? I don't know, man. A lot. He's a resub elder. Really Whoa, what the fuck was that? Was that a new move? I've never, <laughs> I've never seen that. Man hit me with like that fucking spinning Ryu kick. I forgot what it's called. No, I meant to just pick up my souls. Here's the resub wiki and the tin gift subs beast. Appreciate the gift sub generosity, man. Um, Gale's definitely up there for me, Cthulhu. Yeah, I really like Gale, he's a great boss. Um, Frida I also really liked. I didn't think that would reach me through the wall. You ever beat Dark Eater McDeer? Took me five tries. Yep. Beat him on the last playthrough. Non modded Dark Souls. Yeah, it's Solaire. Oh, Jesus! Missed the lock on.
What are you talking about, num nums? Yeah, Frida wasn't easy. I agree with that. I wonder if I can reach the dragon by just spewing shit. Oh, hive mind? Yeah, no, hive mind ended last week. What happened to the butthole armor set? I have to keep equipping it every time I die, so it's just a lot. Just doesn't take much damage at all. Oh, this fucking idiot! Gotcha. We'll see. There's like nine dudes down there. Easy souls. Thanks to Prime. Can often. Didn't expect that. Oh, that's so fucked. Son of a bitch. Uh, unlucky. Oh, yeah, yeah, before I forget, I want to turn off that, that curse. It's, it's not very good for me. I just die in one shot. And since I'm using fucking shit spewing, it takes me a long time to plant like a turret. <clears throat> Did I pick up a ring? I wasn't paying attention. Oh, nice. Well, fuck it, I'm gonna keep it on now. Let it ride! These are the bits, muskrat. Fuck. Oh god, I'm dead. I oh, got lucky. can't hit this guy. He's really tucked himself in the corner this time. Oh, I'm dead. Why is it 10 gifts of Mars?
Appreciate the generosity. I'm dead. I just saw the jump. Oh my god, I forgot that he was there. Is there some soggy mayonnaise? I'm not worried about 10k souls, it's not anything. Oh, Jesus. It still didn't- oh my god. It still didn't shit him. I'm dead now. Yeah. Planning for too long. Thanks, Mimni. Yeah, I mean, it's the received double damage curse. It's just unlucky. God damn it. What? <laughs> it went right over him. I'm getting fucked up by this guy in particular. I've hit this guy, but not the knight now. What the fuck? Thanks to resub hard scope. I have to pull the knife. How is he still too deep? Oh, I'm dead. Okay. Good man. Fucking finally. Whoa! Did your fucking animation cancelled on me? The maniac! Thanks to resub Ultra Mika. Around every door corner there's an ambush, well not an ambush, there's an enemy around every door corner though. I guess there's still an ambush.
Oh shit, no! We're good. Uh, I'm gonna turn off the double damage. I'm tired of just getting one shot. Where's it, Kandir's? Yeah, I'm just gonna turn it off. It's not it, the extra soul. It, I barely feel the extra souls. Yeah, I already did the whole game. I literally just finished it. We did 100% bosses. And now we're trying the uh, Cinders mod. You got me fucked up. mine would be first. Still a one shot, even without the curse, yeah. I passed it. Down there. What in the fuck? Why does it keep going like that? There, finally. Oh my, oh my god, I actually survived an attack. Holy shit. Thanks to the reset that person. around the corner. No! Oh god, I'm dead. Yep. 
<gasps> Fuck. Did you say this is harder than Dark Souls 3? It's not even close. It is significantly harder than Dark Souls 3. Just base Dark Souls 3. This shit is nuts compared to it. Even with this silly fucking spell. Just the amount of mobs and the speed. I do still have Curse of Attraction on. I don't really... I don't mind that one that much. Thanks to the resub Hydra. Thanks to get some straw hat. of Mr. Grunch. See one of the big guys down there. That won't kill, but it'll get close. It's gonna take two, I think. Looking good, looking good. Oh my god, the thing- uh, I thought because this guy was here it wouldn't spawn that, alright. Miscalculation, we're good though. We're fucking good though. Whoa, whoa, what? Bonfire! There's three of these! Exit Prime, I got balls. My fucking way, Morel. Oh.
No, God, fuck, he's close. Alright, good, 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 good. I'm fucking out. Peace, Morel, pussy boy. Fuck, finally. Shortcut. Alright, I'm coming back. Oh my god, he was camping down here. Gotcha. Outplayed, Morel. Oh, what ring did I just get? Is this better than rolling? What the fuck is this? More iframes. Was this an actual item in the game? This ring of momentum? This doesn't seem like it would have been. This is the uh, animation when you have the daggers and do the uh, L2. It's not, it was a custom item? Nice. Let's spin these souls before I lose them. Well, it's not the same layout as the regular game, so I didn't know where that put me, but now I know. Oh my god, why? Alright, good, good, good. Thanks for the tier one, Reggie. Uh, I don't think this ring of momentum is very good. I'm not, uh, not a huge fan. going too hot with this build anymore. Unfortunately. Dogs are so fucking fast in this. Oh, 
What a waste. What a good waste of all those souls. Very good, very good. Oh my god, they're still coming. Is the tier one space caper? There's still another one over there. Gotcha. Outplayed. On my left, I just saw the shadow. Looking good. Thanks for the huge tier 3 big bike. Thank you, man. Prime Faker. Oh boy. We're cooking now. Uh, the armor I'm wearing gets rid of fall damage. Just do Vort, or see if I can do Vort, I suppose. Okay, good, good, good. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay. It sucks because I can't even fucking rush it because of the dogs. Switch it off if I can't. Shit, he's behind me. I just heard him. Yep, he's dead. So that's too high. I thought, okay. So when it says no fall damage, it means mostly no fall damage.
seems to be some Fosto. And the resub Serith. Okay, looking real good now. Where's the resub Linus? Try and go right to, to Vord again. Okay, alright. Assuming this is even Vord, it might not be Vord. Who knows? Could be anything. It's Vord. He's he's got he's got a lot more health it seems. That was easy. Alright. So the super shitter build works really well on bosses. It's just these fucking mobs that make it so goddamn hard. No bonfire for that? Okay. Bonfire is near Dancer. Okay, okay. Very good. Thanks for the gift sub lucky. Making a run for it. So where? Out and to the right. Oh god, is the invader coming in? The pursuer? <laughs> oh, that's that's pretty fucking good. Thanks to the resub quiche. I'm going for it. Oh, what the fuck is this? Sub extreme boss. Do I have a homeward bone? Just get me the fuck out. <clears throat> nope. Ugh. Oh, 
I'm going for it. Good, 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 good. I really don't want to lose these fucking souls. But I've aggroed every night here. And I already know there's more enemies off to the right. Like, there's just so much there. I wish he'd just come in. Son of a bitch. Thanks, the resub, Devin. I can snipe from the door. Oh god, I'm dead. By dead, I mean I'm a genius. I'm stuck. Too far, I'm dead. I'm genius. This sucks, man. This is this is fucking bad. Oh. <laughs> All the enemies are still aggroed because of my fucking curse. Uh, I'll waste every goddamn life, Jim. Thanks to resub, Devin. Yes! That should kill. Hey, so the resub zinc. That was a close one. Couldn't get a good sniper angle for my shitting. All in on luck, let's go! I don't even know why I'm doing this. I don't think any of my shit is actually scaling with luck. The damage is exactly the fucking same. But it'll work for me at some point, I'm sure. Yeah! Fool's flame you get later scales with luck. Good. It's an investment then. Alright, let's see if I can just bang out Dancer first try. Believe in me, boys and girls. Just believe. I got Vort first try with this. Let's see how we do on Dancer. Stink on her! Um, I have to put the, I thought it just started normally, what? You gotta place the basin. Oh, right. Uh, that's right. I walked behind there and started the cutscene last time. Big stink! Oh, shit. She's not, oh my god, she's tanky. Uh oh, I buffered it. I can do it. 
I can get it on the next try. I did an R1 and an L1 by accident. I can get that on the next one. Thanks to Resub Juice. The Prime Mimni. Looking pretty good. Alright, that hitbox lingered a little longer than I expected. Not terrible, if I didn't get one shot there, probably would have been fine. That wasn't bad though, for being... This is super under-leveled and using stinky... It, like, it's... It's alright. We can get this, we can fucking get this. So, any attack she hits me with will... Oh! I actually survived one. Any phase 2 attack, it seems, will kill in one shot. I didn't mean to do this. Too late, too late. Fuck, I couldn't dodge. Injury subfusion. And the resub fluffacorns and cryptic Buddha. Yeah, I mean I can obviously just come back and do this at like an appropriate level with better spells, but I just wanted to try. Uh-oh. Oh! I thought she was grabbing the sword. I'm dead. Okay, we're hanging on. Oh, I'm stuck! Ah. Got the good stink on her. Very sad. Oh, I got too fucking greedy. I thought I could easily get that off in time. Oh. Too greedy, too greedy. I'll be the first to admit.
Oh, shit, it's the AoE. I missed And I just started spamming. Really, Avery? That's interesting. Thanks to Prime Nano. I'm getting used to the, the step dodge instead of roll. I'm getting used to it. It's even starting to feel kind of nice. I'm doing some stance switches here to maximize my DPS. I'm getting real sweaty. Oh, I accidentally dodged towards her. I didn't expect that. Why does it keep going? Okay, we got a real problem here. Oh. I can't dodge backwards, I just noticed. If I try and lock on and dodge backwards, I dodge to the side instead. Okay. This, I may need to just not lock on. For second phase, at least. Oh shit. Yep. That was rough. I got way too greedy. Can he not normal roll? Not with the ring I'm wearing though. Also buffers a lot. Oh, 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 no, no, I'm 
stole the fire? I can't see it. I'm dead. Alright, these attempts are getting bad. Oh, I'm getting tilted. I'm getting tilted. Back to basics. Fundamentals. I will not go get better fucking equipment or level up. I will do this as is. I can get it. Here's the reset twos and threes. Oh, I thought it was the fire. I didn't expect that, okay. Lock on? Oh, I'm dead. Got lucky. The fuck? Uh, I don't really want to waste a life, Jim. Going for it. Oh, too late. Next attempt, we fucking got her with this. Thanks to the Prime Red. God, if only I could quick cast my shit spit. This would have been over. This is such a long fucking cast. Nah, I'm actually kind of liking the side roll to be- Or the scoot, whatever this is. It's kind of nice. There's more iframes on it, that's for sure. The only problem is it does buffer a lot, so I'll sometimes just do like three rolls by accident. I'm stuck! Thanks to the recent Verona and Yoshi and Siege. Through the fucking wall? Come on, man. Ah. Maybe I should just go get another fucking spell. Just finish this off. But I really want to do it with only shitting. It's my only spell here. And I know I can fucking get it. Uh 
What? Oh my god. I still have this shit stacking on her. Unlucky RNG on the spit. Forgot the, I, I forgot those two. Thanks to the resub armpits. What the fuck? Be playing Phasmophobia ever again? Uh, I don't know. I'm not gonna do regular rolls. I'll get it. What a sad one that was. Thanks to Tier 1 Lethal. The ring sucks. There's definitely more iframes on it though, a hundred percent. I'll do it without, but I'm pretty sure there's more iframes on that ring. This is still the shitting run. Fight this, the more I'm starting to realize maybe there isn't extra iframes on that ring. This feels about the same. Exit Prime Druid. Oh, that's. That's so sad. What? speed. I need to take a piss real quick. I'll be right back.
Alright, 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 this is the one. No more fucking around. No Estus, no stats, no problem. I'm actually base stats, basically, because none of my shit is scaling with luck yet. So I'm quite literally SL1-ing this guy. Dancer will be fucked soon. I'm feeling it. Oh shit. Didn't expect that. Bad run so far, but we'll get it back. Oh. I keep forgetting- what? Oh my god, stop rolling! What the fuck? Stovall and Prime Sync. Come on! Oh my lord. Shit! Thought she was grabbing sword. What build is this? It's just a build that spits out shit literal shit. It's a fecal expulsion build. <sighs> Too slow. I'm just gonna play it very slow. I'm gonna play it like a bitch. Wait for the right moves, like that. Too slow. It's two attacks, fuck! I just remembered as she did it. Oh, oh no! 
I had already locked myself down into the animation. Oh my god, I can't believe it. Can't fucking believe it. Thanks to some small and thundery. It's Cinder's mod, man. Thanks to the Prime Storm and the resub flash. Ah. Right, shock that hit. I just killed myself. This is a terrible run. I'm so tilted. Need to wait for the right attacks, we'll play it slow. Didn't expect that one. Fuck it, Jim. Wait, why did I waste the gym? I'm still just gonna get one shot. I don't have enough fucking health. hasn't recovered that fast after that attack, so I guess that was just not lucky. <sighs> so it does not have less iframes, it just costs less to dodge with that. So it's pretty worthless then, yeah, you're right. Perfect phase one, baby. Oh my god. that this is so sad thanks the bits Kylo this shitting takes too long there's only three attacks I can use it on during phase two or two attacks I can use it on in phase two before I get hit Cast time's too what? The cast time takes too long. There's only two attacks that actually get off in time. Yeah. 
Why is this happening? She's not getting stinked anymore? Uh, I hit her with three that didn't stink her. Uh. Exit tier one, Philly Eagles. Or the tier two, Philly Eagles, thank you. I will get this SL1 kill. Shit. Very sloppy phase one. What? What? Oh my god. Oh my god. The Dota Netflix show? I mean, I guess maybe. This is so tilting now. I should have had her. That was one fucking shot away and choked. Ah, uh, tilted ever since. Not stinked. Christ. Only a few attacks I can punish with the shit spray. And I just have to wait for those. This is a two attack chain. This is one of them that I can punish. Didn't stink her. Oh my. Fucking goodness. No stinky on that, I guess. There we go. Oh my god. It's tier one Kylo in the resub chair and Prime Ulrich. Oh. I don't know why all of a sudden it's not stinking half the fucking time I hit her with it. Lord. 
back to switching between two hand and one hand. Thanks to the resub, Barris. This is what I can punish. Or not! I'm going to strike that off the list of the attacks I can punish with the stink. That means there is only one. Of course, that wasn't enough. Thanks for the five. Thanks for the five. Thanks for the five gift subs, Bartholomew. Appreciate it, man. Yeah, agreed, Panda. Does the shit spell stack? Nope. Sam, this is rough. I'm way too tilted now. I, just, I can't do this. Not at SL1. No chance. Yeah, I'm probably just gonna have to actually uh, level up and do this properly. Because this is... This is This is just not, this isn't going to get it done. You only need more health. No, I just need a, I need to just get a better weapon, I think. Maybe one that actually scales off of luck, which is what I put every single point into. Thanks for the bits, Varus. Blood sword from mimic scales from luck. Yeah, I can't wield it though. I don't have the base stats. Oh, Jesus. I can't see! I can't fucking see! Oh, she bugged the whole camera. Lucky Jim makes a weapon scale. Yeah, but I don't need that. We'll get it with this base. Okay. Jesus. Uh, 
That has to be a joke. Some kid, I'm doing this at SL1. What do you mean, man? Try quick casting by using the spell twice. That's okay. Here. There, I was hammering it. All that does is queue up another one. None of my shit scales with luck, so I only have base stats for damage, that's why I'm calling it SL1. I just finished. Uh, I did Gale and Medir earlier, so then we—that was the last two bosses that we needed to finish. So then I just switched to this Cinder's mod. some sugar. Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> what a fast recovery. Boring ass stream. Alright, Banana Cat 1123. Just hop back in the Fortnite category, man. I'm not holding you hostage. You'll be fine, bro. There's plenty of keys to be jiggled. Or excuse me, jingled on Twitch for you. can't punish that anymore. This I can punish. Maybe? Yes. Fuck yeah. I'm so- No! Not like this! I can't fucking see. I can't see. Uh, 
There's only one attack I can actually punish with this fucking thing, and that's it. No point in wasting a gym. to stink on her one more time, a single time. What is going on? That should be it. It's gonna be close. Actually, I might need one more. I got it fucking missed. Risk it, fucking got it. Base stats, dancer, fuck yeah. Christ. Holy shit. Thanks to Resub Goji and the Prime Collector. And the Prime Salty Sheet. Hold well, on, I'm getting a call. Alright, I'm back. Thanks to the 5 gift subs Straw Hat and the 5 gift subs Naughty Skittles. Where- is there no bonfire here or something? Thanks to the Prime Poi. And the resub Elder. I didn't see it in the dancer's room. This isn't- Jesus Christ, this isn't the vanilla fucking game. It's still just the outside bonfire, there's none in here? Okay. Thanks to the Prime Nivier. Oh, shit. That was fucking rough. Put it all into luck again, baby! Yeah! Nothing but luck. I'm gonna sign with 40. Um. Oh, I should have just went and got some more fucking... Oh, I should have went and got more spells. This was dumb. Thanks to tier 1 Far Dark.
I did not expect that to stretch like that. Holy shit. Damn it! Is her side stuffing? She's nuts. This area doesn't seem changed at all. See the bonfire was removed, but that's it. Like the whole area seems pretty similar though. Thanks, Resub Everest. Prime Derricks. Fucking god. Oh, what the fuck? Why is the map different from usual? This is a mod. It is a mod. It is the Cinder's mod. Next time I fucking play this, I'm putting that in the title, and it's still gonna be asked endlessly. Bloodborne once we're done with Cinder's mod. That was always the plan. Holy shit, there's so many. Thanks to Resub Old Man Slayer. What in the fuck? 
This enemy dodges better than any fucking boss in the game. Holy Christ. Just slowly moving backwards. Incredible. It's like they made this game easy. Oh my god, you couldn't be more wrong. Okay, looking real good. Thanks for your sub cum stain. alive. Thanks to the Prime Monster Bard. That one is. Yep, I beat Dancer. <clears throat> okay, what ring did I get? <sighs> Might as well. Okay, no shield, no point. There's a prime less less occur. Shit. How close to in game are we? Literally just started on Cinder's mod, man. This is the very, very beginning. The game I'm most excited for is Near Replicant. This area is pretty much exactly the same as in the space game. Is it Near Replicant turn based? What? Nope. Thanks to tier one, Alex. Fucked up. Oh my god. Oh, the bonfire is even in the same spot. You wanna play the original Demon Souls? Nah, the remaster is just better in every way. Alright, I'm hungry as fuck, so I'm gonna take a break. I'll stream again in like four hours ish. Like the four hour ballpark. Won't be Dark Souls, we'll do something else, but yeah. Like four hours from now, I'll hop back on for a little while. Don't know what we'll do then, but yeah, we'll figure it out. 
Thanks everyone for tuning in. Everyone who donated, big thank you. New subs, welcome aboard. Sub means a lot, so thank you for the generosity. I hope you all have a wonderful evening, or a wonderful afternoon, and I will see you tonight. Let's see who's streaming. I'll toss you to... Wow, there's a lot of people streaming. Um... Oh, Matt's streaming. I'll toss you to Matt. Alright, thanks again everyone. Have a great afternoon. See you tonight. Thanks again. See ya.